Chapter 3181 Peak Rank Heavenly Darun These Heavenly Daruns were split into seven ranks which were represented by seven colors. Red, Orange, Yellow, Green, Azure, Blue, and Violet. Azure corresponded to the fifth rank, and that was already a very high rank. If an ordinary person grasped a rune of that level, they would be smiling even in their dreams. The higher the rank was, the more difficult it was to grasp. Ordinary experts were only able to grab second and third rank runes. It was because runes above the fourth rank would conceal themselves and might dodge. Moreover, there wasn't enough time to chase after them. Thus, these disciples burst into cheers when they saw Azure Light. However, just as they started cheering, they stopped. The light in Beishishi's hand vanished. What everyone was left dumbfounded but they quickly realized that Beishishi had actually abandoned that rank 5 heavenly Darun. She didn't choose to absorb it. No way. Even the 5th rank isn't enough to satisfy her. Time passed bit by bit, and everyone's nerves only grew tenser. Half the time was up. The first time, the rune fled. The second time, she abandoned the rune. Then she stopped trying, leaving everyone in suspense. Does she want to choose a metal energy rune? Or is she choosing a spiritual energy rune? Asked Long Chen. An ordinary metal cultivator would choose a spiritual energy rune first. Metal energy possesses overwhelming sharpness, and without a powerful spiritual strength, there's no way to control it. Just having powerful metal energy but lacking the powerful soul energy to control it is meaningless. However, Shishi has a stubborn character. She likes that sharpness and would rather attack than defend. Thus, she is choosing metal energy for her first rune, answered Beishishi's mother. Her voice contained a hint of worry. Beishishi's character was too proud. That overwhelming sharpness would turn against her if she wasn't able to control it. Hence, her mother had urged her to choose a spiritual energy rune first, but she refused. This hard sharpness lacked the flexibility of a woman. Beishishi's mother clearly saw that if her daughter wasn't lacking this, she wouldn't have lost against Ku Wuaya, but she also couldn't change her way of thinking. It was very difficult to change a person's character, thus a person's character was also what created their fate. Choosing metal energy? That's easy. Hey, Long Chen suddenly put his hands around his mouth and shouted at Bei Shishi. However, Bei Shishi's mother's expression completely changed. She hastily formed hand seals, and everyone around Long Chen vanished. Just then, a lightning sword shot out from the tribulation area to attack Long Chen. With a snort, Long Chen's palm slammed into the lightning, shattering it. As a result, lightning runes raged furiously and spread. This lightning contained heavenly might. If Bei Shishi's mother hadn't acted so quickly, the people around them would have suffered a calamity. You little fellow, are you trying to get people killed? She scolded angrily. Sorry, I forgot, said Long Chen. He wasn't afraid of the will of heavenly tribulation, but that wasn't the same for others. Anyone who spoke to the person in the tribulation would be sensed by the heavenly tribulation. The tribulation would attack someone based on the power of their cultivation base. Long Chen had forgotten that there was also Bei Shishi's mother right there. She was a divine lord. If the tribulation transformed into a divine lord tribulation, then that really would be a calamity. However, Bei Shishi's mother had already brought everyone away. They had escaped the range of the heavenly tribulation, putting Long Chen at ease. So he continued to shout at Bei Shishi, Pretty girl, listen to me and I'll help you find the strongest metal rune here. The heavenly tribulation rumbled. Lightning swords pierced toward Long Chen. Shut your mouth and stop disturbing me, shouted a furious Bei Shishi. This anger caused her senses to grow even duller, making her pale. She had the urge to bite Long Chen. I'm not joking with you. Listen and close your eyes. Pretend your shoulders are two straight lines going left and right. Keep your arms in. When I shout left, reach out with your left hand and grab. When I shout right, reach out with your right hand. Shouted Long Chen while shattering those lightning swords with a wave of his hand. They transformed into lightning runes. But Long Chen didn't let Lai Long absorb them. Long Chen didn't dare to even use his own will to resist the heavenly tribulation, afraid that it would transform into his own tribulation. He hadn't refined the golden dragon scale yet and might die to his tribulation. Moreover, 
that would even implicate Beishishi, so he had to conduct himself appropriately. Hearing that, Beishishi calmed down. Although Long Chen couldn't be counted on normally, he was reliable at important times. Fine, I'll trust you once. Don't con me, said Beishishi, closing her eyes and acting according to Long Chen's instructions. Her goal was the rank 7 metal rune, but if too much time passed, she could only go for the rank 6 rune. The rank 7 rune was too hard to sense. She only sensed a glimmer of it for a moment. It was as if the rank 7 rune was playing hide and seek with her. It would reveal itself for a second and then vanish. She was unable to grasp its location or orbit. Left hand. A miss. Left hand. Another miss. Beisha she tried four times without grabbing anything. The spectators were growing anxious. But they didn't dare to say a word. Beisha she was starting to sweat. Two thirds of the time had passed. If she still didn't grasp it. She could only go for the rank 6 rune. Due to repeated failures. Her mental realm was getting unsteady. And her perception was becoming dull. She might not even be able to find the rank 6 rune like this. Steady yourself. Focus all your power on your hand. You must be as fast as possible. Use as much power as you can. As if you are grabbing Ku Wuaya's throat. Shouted Long Chen. He also saw Beishishi's unsteady state. Beishishi nodded. She took a deep breath and focused. Right hand. Long Chen suddenly shouted. Beishishi's right hand reached out like lightning. Boom. The void shuddered. The place where Beishishi's hand was grabbing shuddered and twisted. Grab it. Shouted Long Chen. Beishishi's hand then tightened. Her body shuddered as she almost coughed up blood. She focused all her power on her hand. Which split open and bled. A terrifying power tried to escape from her hand. Beisha she was shocked and delighted. She did her best to grab hold of this thing, refusing to let go. A rune then appeared in her hand, one that emitted all the colors of the rainbow. This is, a peak rank heavenly darun that only appears once every 10,000 years. Beisha she's mother stared in disbelief at that rune. Chapter 3182 Fiendish Power The rune glowed with all the colors of the rainbow as it struggled. However, blood sprayed out of Beisha she's hand. Speckling her white clothes, she held on to that rune as if her life depended on it because she could sense the boundless metal energy within it. This time, Long Chen didn't con her. This rune was something she dreamed of obtaining. Quickly use your will to subdue it. Time is running out, shouted Long Chen. After over ten breaths, Bei Shishi was still unable to suppress it. Feeling that the situation wasn't good, he gave her a reminder. However, there was no need for that reminder. She was already doing everything she could, but this rainbow rune that existed only in legend contained the will of the heavenly deos and was very difficult to subdue. After a long struggle, her hand was bloody, but the rune had merged into her body. It left behind a seven-color mark on her palm. Beisha she was delighted, but she suddenly heard Long Chen's shout. Left side. Without even thinking, she reached out and her left hand grabbed something. At this moment, the void shuddered and another rune appeared. Startled cries rang out. When that rune merged into her body, it emitted a violet color. That was actually a rank 7 heavenly darun. It also glowed brightly and tried to struggle away. But compared to the peak rank rune, it was clearly a bit weaker. As a result, Beishishi's body trembled. But she wasn't injured further. She struggled with all her might to subdue it. But it refused to submit. The furious struggle left people holding their breath. The heavenly tribulation was already starting to scatter. Time was running out. This showed them that this wasn't just luck. Without power, even if an opportunity threw itself into your hand, you wouldn't be able to grasp it. Ignoring that peak rank rune, even a rank 7 rune wasn't something that normal cultivators could subdue even if they were given the full time of the tribulation. Thus, greed was useless without power. Forcibly trying to grasp it would only harm yourself. Even Beishishi, with her terrifying power, was having immense trouble. Just as everyone thought that as long as they could have Long Chen's pointers, they could also gain the best heavenly Darunes. That thought was erased. The second rune was finally subdued. However, the tribulation shuddered and the runes began to fade. However, just then, Beishishi spread both her hands and grabbed two runes. Both those runes flashed with azure light and were subdued. In the last instant, 
Beishishi had just barely managed to grab two more runes, and they were actually rank 5 runes. That was also fortuitous. Another rank 7 or even rank 6 rune would resist. She didn't have enough time to subdue them, but with her power, she could instantly subdue a rank 5 rune and below. Rank 5 runes were the best choice for her in that last moment. In that last moment, one of those runes was one that she had sensed beforehand and been ready to grab, but the other one was just a random grab. She was lucky that it was also a rank 5 rune. The heavenly tribulation scattered and Beisha she sighed with relief. However, she felt a wave of fatigue. It felt like she might collapse. The Heaven Female Alliance's disciples hastily ran over to support her. She was pale as she had clearly used up all her energy, but an excited light shone in her eyes. Long Chen, thank you, helped by everyone. Bei Shishi came over to Long Chen. When that peak rank rune entered her body, she clearly sensed her bloodline runes changing. Her sense toward the world's metal energy was hundreds of times clearer than before. Furthermore, her own metal energy was undergoing some kind of transformation. She wasn't clear on what it was exactly, but she had a feeling that once she finished merging with this rune and formally entered the Four Peak Realm, her power would completely transform. A Peak Rank Metal Energy Rune and a Rank 7 Spiritual Energy Rune. Those were both thanks to Long Chen. That was truly an immense favor. Long Chen smiled. I like to talk nonsense. There's no need to thank me if that nonsense was correct. I just hope that you won't kill me when my nonsense is wrong in the future. Quite a few people laughed. Just before this, Bei Shishi had said that she would kill him if he continued spouting nonsense. Bei Shishi's expression sank. Seeing her expression, Long Chen hastily waved his hand. We're all friends. It's just a joke. If you get so angry, I won't dare to talk to you again. What were the two last runes at the end? I didn't get a clear look. After hearing that, Bei Shishi's expression softened. After knowing Long Chen for so long, she found him to be a foolish fellow who liked to joke, but he never had any malice. She said, one is a bloodline rune, the other though, ugh, it's an earth element rune. The bloodline rune could strengthen her physical body, but that earth element rune was difficult to bear. She was a pure metal cultivator. So that earth rune was useless to her. An earth element rune is good, said Long Chen and Bei Shishi's mother at the same time. What? How? Bei Shishi's mother was the one who said, Foolish child, other than cultivating, did you not study anything? Metal is born from the earth. The two complement each other. With this earth energy, your metal energy will be thicker and easier to control, Long Chen said. With this earth energy, your metal energy will have that trace of softness that you lack. To use the words of the common people, it will make you down to earth. Bei Shishi laughed at that. For both Long Chen and her mother to like this earth energy rune so much, it seemed that it really was valuable. Hence, her mood improved. Long Chen, how did you see through the heavenly darunes? Could it be that your eyes are? Sorry, said Bei Shishi, hastily apologizing when she saw that Long Chen was still wearing an eye patch. His eye was still injured from using the three flower pupils. Bei Shishi had secretly asked Bei Ziaol's mother about it, and the latter told her that Long Chen had forcibly exceeded his own limits to use that eye art, and he had received a backlash from the heavenly deos. There was even danger of him losing the eye. Everyone had stopped talking about his eye in order to not pain his heart, but she had forgotten about it just now in her excitement. Long Chen laughed. What are you thinking? This eye will be fine after some more rest. There's no need to be worried. The reason I could sense the lightning runes was because from the very first day I set foot in the cultivation world, I've been in contact with heavenly tribulation the entire time. We're old acquaintances. I should be the one saying sorry. I didn't expect that your will was so weak that you almost got conned. Bei Shishi glared at him. But after what she had said about his eye, she also didn't feel good retorting. In a bit, everyone scattered. However, Bei Shishi's mother had Long Chen remain. Did you sense that fiendish power? Chapter 3183 Heavenly Swell Domain? Dao Don Domain? Long Chen nodded. I sensed it. Outside of the heavenly tribulation was some sinister power. When Bei Shishi was injured, it secretly stole a bit of her essence blood. 
Long Chen hadn't sensed anything odd during her tribulation until she grabbed that peak rank rune. The instant she was injured, that sinister energy appeared. When she bled, a bit of it was silently stolen. Only then did Long Chen notice just how serious this matter was. Bei Shishi's mother said, The auspicious Qi of Crane Cry Valley repels that fiendish energy. Hence, it was only able to steal a trace of her essence blood when she was injured. It won't affect Shishi. But if it hadn't been for the auspicious Qi, even if Shishi wasn't injured, the fiendish energy would have slipped away with quite a bit of her essence blood. The most curious part is that the actual person can't sense it. Our High Firmament Academy has Crane Cry Valley, but other sects don't have such an auspicious land. They can only rely on formations to prevent too much blood from leaking away. In the Heavenly Swell Domain, it's alright for the Four Peak Realm. But if they try to advance to the Divine Lord Realm, their primal bloodline will instantly be snatched away. After advancing, they will no longer be primals. Some people call this phenomenon the Devil's Curse. Most primals will leave the Heavenly Swell Domain after reaching the Four Peak Realm. That's why it's so rare for primal Divine Lords to appear here in the Heavenly Swell Domain. Senior. Junior has a question. When I killed the City Lord of Silver Moon City. I saw a part of his memories. Why do you call the Heavenly Swell Domain the Dao Don Domain? Asked Long Chen. He had read many books but hadn't found anything about this. Bei Shishi's mother smiled slightly. That relates to some secrets. This place is called the Heavenly Swell Domain. As well as the Dao Don Domain. Both names are correct. However, only a portion of people call it the Heavenly Swell Domain. Most people still call it the Dao Don Domain. The reason there are two names is because there was once an expert called Zhao Xianlin. 1. A long time ago, the Dao Don Domain's Devil Sea suddenly erupted. Countless devils came out of its depths, and they wished to slaughter all the other life forms within the Dao Don Domain. This expert called Zhao Xianlin led an army against those devils and then used his own life to summon a barrier to seal the devil eye staring at the Dao Don Domain as he had sacrificed himself to protect the Dao Don Domain. To remember him, the Dao Don Domain's people changed the name of the Dao Don Domain to the Heavenly Swell Domain. Regretfully, people always forget with time. Once the scar heals, the pain is forgotten. Many people have stopped calling it the Heavenly Swell Domain and once more call it the Dao Don Domain. However, while others can do that, we can't. Because that Zhao Xianlin was our High Firmament Academy's 17th Dean. Hearing that, Long Chen understood. So the High Firmament Academy's Dean had sacrificed himself to protect the Dao Don Domain. The High Firmament Academy was an extremely glorious existence. It was the oldest academy in the immortal world. However, now that it had declined, its former radiance was gone. And all kinds of evil monsters were crawling their way up its head. Calling it the Dao Don Domain again was not as simple as changing its name. It was erasing the High Firmament Academy's illustrious history and what they had done for the people. Is it related to Lord Brahma? Asked Long Chen. Bei Shishi's mother laughed. Child, you're a bit frightening when you're smart. Clearly, he had guessed correctly. This was a scheme. Originally, the High Firmament Academy's position within the Heavenly Swell Domain was untouchable. But as Lord Brahma's forces grew, this oldest academy of the immortal world refused to bend to his will. Despite declining, it still stood tall against him. The desolate devils, the devil sea, and the devil curse. Are they all related to Lord Brahma? Asked Long Chen. Even I cannot tell you that. I've only told you this much so you are mentally prepared. The immortal world has many secrets and many unknown forces. Don't get deceived by a temporary victory. You're smart, but it seems that you sometimes wish to have all the weaknesses of a hot-blooded youth. So I should still warn you even though it probably won't be useful. Even if it offends you, I still have to do it, said Bei Shishi's mother. Long Chen instantly felt a burning sensation on his face. It seemed that women always held grudges no matter how high their cultivation base or status was. Senior haha, it's just a joke. Don't you also like to joke with my daughter? That's all I'll say for today. Seeing your divine flame power, it will probably take some time to settle. When you prepare for the Four Peak Tribulation, the Academy's seniors will come to protect you, said Bei Shishi's mother. 
She then left, leaving behind a dumbfounded Long Chen. He felt like the immortal world was far more mysterious than before. Everything he had seen so far was nothing more than the tip of the iceberg. However, for the academy to support him so much, he felt at ease. He then returned to his residence. There, he found Qin Feng waiting for him. Boss, Li Kei came and asked if he could join the Dragonblood Legion. He said that he would accept any conditions you wish. He simply wishes to get stronger. Even if he dies, he won't regret it. Qin Feng had seen Li Kei's worshipful gaze and found the latter to be not bad. If he was properly raised, it would be acceptable for him to join the Dragonblood Legion. Long Chen shook his head. It isn't a matter of talent. I can turn him into a primal. But the main thing is his will. He is lacking far too much in this regard compared to the rest of you that have experienced hundreds of battles. If he wants to become a Dragonblood warrior, he must go through the same kind of tempering. But we don't have the time to help him. We have enough trouble looking after ourselves. I said the same thing. But then he said that he would enter the field of bitter reincarnation to temper his will. The field of bitter reincarnation. Long Chen was shocked. That was the highest level of punishment in the academy. But it was also capable of tempering a person's will. Upon entering that place, a person's soul would be endlessly tormented. It was like being dropped into hell and revived after every death only to suffer once more. It was a bit similar to his karmic flames tempering the soul. If it was used as punishment, a person's soul would directly dissipate within it. If it was used as a trial, a person had to endure that torment for around 20 days. But a normal person would have their will crumble after just two or three days. Once the trial was started, there was no stopping it. They had to go through all the reincarnations for it to end. Moreover, the rate of failure was extremely high, and the cost of failure was death or a broken mind. The academy did not advocate for using this place as a trial. All right, if he really has that courage, if he passes, I can accept him into the Dragonblood Legion. Long Chen sighed. Every person had the right to pursue their dream. Although Long Chen didn't look favorably upon Li Kei's chances, he could not reject him. Noveloon.com haha, I knew that boss would agree. He already went, said Qin Feng. Long Chen was speechless. Qin Feng's guts were also quite big. He actually dared to make such a decision. But he had truly read Long Chen's mind perfectly. During the next few days, the other heavenly geniuses of the High Firmament Academy started undergoing their own tribulations in Crane Cry Valley. As for Long Chen, he spent these 10 days recuperating and finally obtained control over his explosive divine flame energy. On this day, Long Chen found a secluded place for himself and took out the golden dragon scale. Merging with me definitely won't be an insult to you. After saying that, he placed his hand on the scale. It shuddered and golden light erupted. After that, a clear dragon cry rang out. The surrounding mountains instantly shattered, and a sacred dragon might soared into the heavens. 1. Xi'anlin equals heavenly swell. Chapter 3184 Refining the dragon scale at this moment, a dragon roar resounded through the air, crumbling the mountains surrounding Long Chen instantly. Even space collapsed and the laws of time twisted. In this chaos, fragments of spastime flew about. Long Chen's white dragon scales instantly exploded, and he became a bloody mess. Right now, the golden dragon scale's domineering will was stripping away his azure dragon essence blood. Golden light slowly flowed into Long Chen's body. Just as Long Chen was absorbing the golden dragon essence blood, a group of figures appeared in the distance, watching Long Chen secretly. Amongst them were Bei Shishi's mother, Bei Ziaol's mother, Bei Zhantang, as well as over ten white-haired elders. One of them in particular was someone that Long Chen would recognize. It was the elder that he had encountered the first time he entered the Divine Scripture Pavilion. It was the elder cleaning up the bookcases. Other than him, the other elders were so old that their wrinkles were deeper than tree bark, and their eyes were white with age. They seemed so old that they couldn't even open their eyes. Moreover, Bei's Hantang and his wives didn't even dare to breathe loudly in front of them. They were filled with reverence for them. Has the spatial barrier been set up? Asked the bookcase elder. Reporting to the dean, I've set up three layers. No one should be able to look into this space, said Bezaiol's mother. 
This elder was precisely the High Firmament Academy's current dean, Bei Shen. Long Chen would definitely jump in shock if he learned this. Add another two layers, said Bei Shen after a moment's thought. Yes, Bei Ziaoyu's mother nodded and vanished. Dad, you don't trust in Ziaoyu's power, asked Bei's Han Tang. Bei Ziaoyu's mother possessed the three flower pupils and a powerful spatial power, so the barriers that she set up could not be seen through by others especially not with three layers. For the dean to request an additional two layers was too much in Bei Zhantang's opinion. I naturally believe in her power, but Long Chen's matter involves major affairs. I have no choice but to be cautious, said Bei Lishan. Before Bei Zhantang could reply, Bei Shishi's mother pulled on him and gave him a look. Only then did he shut his mouth. She said, Long Chen really is amazing. Without competing with the true dragon's will, he has obtained its approval and started the merger. His body is like a dragon's. If he wasn't a nine-star heir, I would suspect him to be the reincarnation of a dragon. But how can a nine-star heir be related to the dragon race? Furthermore, his cultivation technique has deviated from the realm of the nine stars. It's inexplicable, said the elder. Lishan, you dragged us out of our coffins just for this little fellow, asked one of the other elders. His voice was rough and dry, like wood rubbing. It was as if he hadn't spoken in 10,000 years. Noveloon.com Lishan wouldn't dare to disturb the immortal elders for such a thing. It was the will of the master sweeper, said Baelishan. Hearing that, those elders no longer said another word. They turned to Long Chen. Long Chen didn't know that so many experts were watching him in secret. But even if he knew, he wouldn't care. The golden dragon scale didn't fight him at all and the dragon blood slowly merged into his body. He didn't know if this was special treatment because it was related to the descendant of the dragon expert, but it was only when the dragon blood entered his body that he understood just how terrifying it was. He was already at the peak of the divine flame realm, and his physical body had reached a terrifying level. But as soon as a single drop of this blood entered his body, his flesh exploded and his bones shattered. His body appeared incredibly weak in front of it. The golden dragon blood repeatedly destroyed his body and meridians before repairing them and destroying them again. They were strengthened several times with every rebirth, but it still wasn't enough. The pain of his meridians being destroyed was difficult to endure, but it didn't affect his consciousness. This was only possible because of his willpower. Eventually, his meridians had been reborn over a hundred times and stopped breaking. His meridians had obtained the approval of the dragon blood. The meridians were the most important network in the human body. Only when they were strong enough could they carry immense power throughout every part of the body. The meridians didn't just need to endure bloodline power, but they also had to endure the impact of spiritual yuan, divine flame power, thunder force, flame energy, and other kinds of power. Hence, the strength of the meridians was essential. Now that his meridians were strong enough, the dragon blood began to circulate through his body. His body rumbled. Long Chen then fell to the ground, limp like dough. His bones shattered and his skin split open. Nail-sized fragments of his bones began to pierce out of his skin. Bone replacement. Long Chen was covered in sweat. The pain of this bone replacement far surpassed the pain of having his meridians reborn. Furthermore, it wasn't done in one go. His new bones were several times stronger but still didn't meet the requirements of the golden dragon blood. As a result, Long Chen underwent a brutal torture. He didn't know how many times his bones were replaced, and fragments of bones formed a small hill around him. Finally, his bones reached the necessary strength. His flesh then began to be torn apart and restored. But this pain was no longer terrifying to Long Chen. Long Chen stood up allowing his flesh to be stripped away and replaced. Blood dyed the earth red, but he didn't care at all. In order to fully transform, he needed to expel that remnant power. His body continued to grow stronger and stronger. After that, golden lines began to appear on his newborn flesh. He could already sense its terrifying power. The golden dragon blood continuously strengthened his body. At this moment, golden dragon scales gradually appeared on his body. Those scales shone brightly as if they were made of gold. When the final drop of blood exited the scale and entered his body, the dragon scale transformed to dust. As for Long Chen's golden scales, 
They blazed with light, and a brilliant dragon roar once more resounded throughout the heavens. With Long Chen at the core, a golden ripple spread in every direction. Wherever that ripple passed, the void exploded and the 10,000 Deos crumbled. Suddenly, a barrier of light appeared, but it instantly shattered. The ripple then smashed into the next barrier. That barrier instantly became covered in cracks and shattered after a few seconds as well. Standing in the distance, Bei's hand tang sucked in a cold gasp of air. He finally understood why Bei Lishan wanted five barriers. This is a true dragon's sacred power. Bei Shishi's mother stared in shock. Chapter 3185 The Academy's old monsters The Sacred Dragon might wreak havoc, destroying two barriers. It only stopped at the third barrier. This child Long Chen's luck is heaven defying. The master of this golden dragon scale actually possesses an incredibly noble bloodline. They probably have a huge background, said Baelishan. This sacred might destroys all laws. The master of that dragon scale has to be an amazing figure. It seems that even the Huaian Trading Company can misjudge. They couldn't see through the power concealed in the dragon scale, said Bei Shishi's mother. The Huaian Trading Company had their own master appraisers, and their eyes were so sharp that it was almost unbelievable. However, they hadn't noticed just how extraordinary this dragon scale was. If they had known that this dragon scale possessed such a terrifying sacred might, its value was not something that the nine prefecture conventions funds would be capable of purchasing. It's not the fault of the Huaian Trading Company. A true dragon's might cannot be tested or it will be considered a provocation. It will either kill them or kill itself. Hence, they were only able to judge its value based on its age, marks, and accumulated history, said Baelishan. Space was still collapsing around Long Chen, and the dragon roar continued to ring out. A single barrier would have been unable to prevent that roar from being transmitted out. Fortunately, Baelishan's mother had added an additional two barriers. Otherwise, if the sound spread, it might cause widespread panic. Long Chen's body was covered in golden dragon scales. His aura was astonishing. He was like a heavenly deity in golden armor and appeared incredibly domineering. Those elders silently examined Long Chen for a long while before one of them said, Master Sweeper has actually chosen him, so there's no need for us to come out. We trust in the Master Sweeper's vision. However, has the opportunity really ripened this time? It seems that there's still some time until it reaches maturity immortal elder is correct. However, this matter is so big that there cannot be the slightest carelessness. Do you have any pointers? Asked Baelishan. He was extremely courteous. Despite being the dean, he still revered these old fellows because they were his seniors. They had made great contributions to the High Firmament Academy. There are no pointers. The High Firmament Academy has countless seniors like Zhao Xianlin who sacrificed their lives for this world's peace. There are so many heroes who lost their lives fighting against the Devil Sea. If a person lacks respect and gratitude, they are actually the most evil life forms in this world. Long times of peace will make people forget about everything that the High Firmament Academy has done for the Heavenly Swell Domain. Now they're even returning the name to the Dao Don Domain showing that they lack any gratitude to the High Firmament Academy. Forgetting history is a betrayal. If the Master Sweeper thinks that Long Chen is our chance, then we can try it. After all, the Heavenly Deos are unclear, and the flow of fate is not obvious. Our old eyes still cannot see the omens of great changes in the world, so we don't dare to say anything for sure, nor do we dare to bet the fate of the High Firmament Academy on it, said the Elder. We old-timers have been in seclusion for so long. Our eyes are no longer capable of seeing everything. Sometimes, the flapping of a single butterfly wing can cause a tornado in another place. Whether or not the immortal world will change because of a nine-star air has yet to be decided. We need to continue observing. Long Chen can be raised. We will observe the changes in the heavenly deos before deciding on the attitude of the High Firmament Academy. However, a nine-star air is a double-sided sword that's easy to lose control of. It would be best if you take note of the scale and not let him learn too many of those ancient secrets. It's not good for him. After all, the heads of the nine-star airs are even more rigid and stubborn than us old-timers. They don't know how to bend at all. Immortal elders, don't worry. 
This Long Chen is different from normal nine star heirs. We will raise him properly. However, Paper is unable to stop gunpowder. If the day comes that Long Chen's status is exposed, the Academy's attitude will be, ask the Dean. If he isn't the destined one, even we won't be able to protect him. We can only let him destroy himself. If he is the destined one, the High Firmament Academy will bet everything on him, answered that elder. Understood. The Dean nodded. That elder nodded in reply, and he and the other elders vanished, leaving behind only Bei Lishan, Bei's Han Tang, and his wives. Dad, if Long Chen isn't the destined one, are we really going to cast him aside so heartlessly asked Bei's Han Tang. Although Bei Shishi's mother was secretly pinching him, he still asked this question directly. What do you think? asked Bei Lishan. That's cruel. He is a disciple of our academy and has entrusted his fate to us. Is abandoning him midway something a human can do? Raged Bei Zhan Tang. Zhan Tang. His wife's expressions both changed. These words were too far. How could he speak this way to his father? You shouldn't ask me about this. You should ask the master sweeper. Said Bei Lishan. Completely disregarding the rudeness of his son. Hey. Just as Bei Zhan Tang was about to pursue this topic. Two people dragged him back with all their might. You fool. What is there to ask about such a thing? When it comes to major powers, an individual's power is tiny. The High Firmament Academy has been enduring all this time. For what? This head of yours can only be covered with weeds for the rest of this lifetime. Get back here. Both of his wives dragged him away. In a corner of the High Firmament Academy, an elder with a broom and turbid eye stared in a certain direction. That direction was where Long Chen was refining the dragon scale. It bound its fate to that child. It can't be wrong. The immortal world will change because of him. We are nothing more than spectators. This old sweeping elder smiled. After that, he continued sweeping. The fallen leaves blew in the wind, erasing his previous efforts. But he very patiently started sweeping from the start again. His rhythm didn't change at all. However, just then, he swept out a fragment of a broken blade from the cracks between the bricks. This fragment was still very sharp and left a cut in the bricks. His sweeping came to a stop. Staring at the broken fragment and the bricks, he picked up the fragment and shook his head. It seems that some uninvited guests are coming. Just a moment afterward, the alarm sounded. It was the alarm for an enemy attack. However, the elder acted as if he hadn't heard anything and continued sweeping. Chapter 3186 Sudden Attack Long Chen's body was covered in golden dragon scales. He had finally condensed the golden dragon battle armor. However, his newly condensed dragon scales were still very tender. They would only strengthen after a bit of time. Due to their tender state, he was unable to place his divine flames on them. Despite that, he felt completely transformed. Even without the golden dragon battle armor active, his physical body was capable of using the power of his divine flames. Previously, he was barely able to use the power of his divine flames even with the help of the azure dragon battle armor. But it was different now. His physical body was many times stronger than before. Even now, as the dragon blood circulated in his body, it was still strengthening. Just at this moment, Long Chen's tablet began to flash rapidly. He heard the sound of the alarm in the distance. Someone's attacking the High Firmament Academy. Long Chen's expression changed. He took out his black robes and rushed off with his lightning wings. Trash of the High Firmament Academy. Face your deaths. Countless experts wearing black cloaks and masks covering their faces were assaulting the Outer Academy. The Outer Academy had been turned into ruins. The descent of hundreds of divine lords instantly smashed through the barrier. The Outer Academy's disciples didn't even have a chance to react before being blasted apart. Screams rang throughout the Outer Academy. Kill. Millions of those black cloaked figures poured throughout the Outer Academy. They were all four peak experts being led by the Divine Lords. This attack came all too suddenly. From the moment the alarm rang to the barrier was destroyed. Only an instant had passed. Their enemies had clearly come prepared. Brazen interlopers. Do you still want to live after coming here? The High Firmament Academy's experts rapidly mobilized and came out of the Inner Academy. These attackers had destroyed all the transportation formations. 
they were somehow perfectly aware of where the Academy's transportation formations were. Hand over Long Chen, or countless people from the High Firmament Academy will be implicated. Don't blame others, a Divine Lord roared. But suddenly, the void shuddered and a golden fist smashed down. That Divine Lord directly exploded. After that, Long Chen's figure appeared, drawing out a wave of cheers. It's Heaven Master Long Chen. Long Chen was shocked and enraged when he saw what was before him. Many of the auras here were familiar to him. Just based on the fluctuations of their cultivation techniques, he could tell that these people were those experts that had fought against him at the end of the Nine Prefecture Convention. After killing so many of those divine lords, he was familiar with the remainder's fluctuations. Everyone, retreat back to the inner academy. Experts, first protect the outer academy's disciples. Long Chen's voice resounded through the air. There were too many enemies, and everything was chaotic. There was no way to unleash any big moves like this, as it would only harm their own people. The first thing was to get the Outer Academy's disciples away from here. Keep acting hypocritical. This was all caused by you, yet you act like a savior. You, Long Chen, are a star of disaster. All these people died because of you, sneered a divine lord. Die. Long Chen furiously charged toward him like a bolt of lightning. In the face of that, the Divine Lord sneered fearlessly. You, Long Chen, are the world's most shameless person. You wish to be called a hero yet act like a coward. You should never have been born into this world. Ignorant fool, go repent in hell. Long Chen's black saber appeared in his right hand. However, he didn't use it. Just when he got close to this person, a lightning spear appeared in his left hand, and he stabbed that person through. Meanwhile, his saber swung to the side. Boom. The void exploded and a blood-colored dagger appeared where Long Chen slashed. A figure popped out and struck his saber with a dagger. As a result, Long Chen was unable to keep hold of his saber and it was blown out of his hand. At the same time, Long Chen's lightning spear stabbed through that confident divine lord, wiping him out. Did you think that an assassin could save your life? Long Chen snorted and grabbed his flying saber. He then pointed it at that masked assassin. Dog of the Blood Kill Hall, who gave you the guts to dare to come to my High Firmament Academy no matter how marvelous this person's concealing arts were, they couldn't conceal themselves from Long Chen. His senses toward the Blood Kill Hall's experts were especially honed. That Divine Lord had intentionally baited Long Chen over, thinking that the assassin could kill him. Unfortunately, he had miscalculated. The assassin snorted. Suddenly. His blood chi erupted and a divine statue appeared behind him. Divine energy flowed out, freezing this space. A primal. Long Chen was startled. This assassin was actually a primal divine lord. Long Chen instantly thought of a certain possibility. With no time to overthink, Long Chen's divine ring appeared behind him, and his star diagram flowed. When the 108,000 divine flames on his stars blazed, his saber slashed out. Boom. Qi waves clashed, and they made Long Chen's arm shudder. This primal of the Blood Kill Hall actually possessed terrifying power. That one exchange made his expression grave. This person should be considered a completely different existence than an ordinary divine lord. His attacks were backed by the laws of the heavenly deos. This primal could borrow the power of heaven and earth to fight. On the other hand, Long Chen was merely in the divine flame realm. He had to suffer from a severe realm suppression that was only exacerbated by the power of the world. After a slash with his saber, his lightning spear appeared and swung behind him. Another dagger appeared, shattering his lightning spear and piercing toward his chest. Just then, the void to the left of Long Chen collapsed, and another dagger silently stabbed toward Long Chen like a viper's fang. There wasn't just one primal divine lord from the Blood Kill Hall, but three. The three of them had set up a trap just for him. Seeing this, Long Chen snorted and swung his saber to block that killing blow. A flame lotus mark appeared on his left hand. He was prepared to exchange injury for injury. As long as he didn't die in one blow, he could instantly heal. If he managed to kill one in exchange, it would be much easier to handle the remaining two. However, even before he could react, a golden sword slashed through the air. 
That sharp sword chi made people's souls shake. Chapter 3187 Despicable Shameless Basha she had arrived. Golden light shone from her entire body, and with a slash of her sword, golden light filled the world. One of the blood kill hall's primal divine lords was slain by this slash. It was unblockable. Boom. Long Chen's saber forced aside the other one, and he dodged the third one's attack. Since Bei Shishi had come, there was no need for him to fight in such a risky manner. Bei Shishi unleashed the second slash of her sword. Her target hastily dodged, only for her sword chi to cut through his legs. After that, the explosive sword chi blasted his entire body apart. Not only was his physical body destroyed, but even his Yuan spirit as well. Having advanced to the four peak realm and obtaining a peak rank heavenly Darun, Bei Shishi's metal energy was so sharp that it was as if nothing could stop it. Fighting across realms was so easy for her now. In comparison, Long Chen seemed weak. This was because he was still in the divine flame realm, and there was a powerful realm suppression. Furthermore, his opponent was not an ordinary divine lord but also a primal. To fight across two realms against a primal and still not be defeated was already extremely shocking. If Long Chen hadn't advanced to the peak of the Divine Flame Realm and refined the Golden Dragon Scale, allowing his physical body to strengthen by an unknown number of times, he wouldn't have been able to endure the first attack that contained the power of the Heavenly Deos. As for the Golden Dragon Battle Armor, it still wasn't time to summon it. The Golden Dragon Scale had just been refined. On the other hand, Bei Shishi was different. After absorbing the heavenly Daruns, her attack naturally contained heavenly Dao energy, so she wasn't stifled like Long Chen. This was the advantage of her realm. Just then, the void shuddered and eight spatial gates appeared around Long Chen and Bei Shishi. Not good. Long Chen's expression changed. This was another trap. Those three primal divine lords were actually just bait. The next moment, Eight daggers stabbed out like bolts of lightning, not giving either of them any chance to react. Furthermore, space froze around them, preventing them from moving. This was clearly the pressure of peak divine lords, and those that had fully activated their primal bloodline at that. Long Chen could sense the auras of the blood kill hall's experts, but it seemed that the enemy side had factored that in. Just as he thought that the assassins were slain and he relaxed ever so slightly. They suddenly opened the spatial gates, giving him no time to react. Those eight daggers were treasure items, and they contained the full power of eight late-stage divine lords. Let alone Long Chen and Bei Shishi, even an immortal king might meet their end facing this attack. Boom. The eight daggers collided and space exploded. Startled cries rang out from the crowd. However, just as they thought that Long Chen and Bei Shishi were slain, they found that the two of them had vanished. Bei Ziyol's mother then appeared, forming hand seals. As space twisted, Long Chen and Bei Shishi appeared behind her. Just then, two sharp swords slashed toward those eight figures. However, those eight figures, after failing their first attack, went back into the spatial gates and vanished. The spatial gates then crumbled behind them, and the two swords missed. At this moment, the invaders running rampant crushed their jade talismans and vanished as well. The entire battlefield became empty in an instant, leaving behind only ruins. Fuck, they really pissed me off this time. Chase them. Bei's Hantang and Bei Shishi's mother also appeared. They were one step too late. Don't chase cornered enemies. Bei Shishi's mother hastily stopped him. The battle god palace's experts also arrived. Their expressions ugly. However, if Bei's Hantang didn't chase after the enemies, they couldn't either. Cornered my ass. They aren't cornered at all. This is a naked provocation. I definitely cannot endure this, roared Bei's Hantang. Long Chen's expression was also ugly. Their enemies hadn't been planning on dealing a devastating blow to the High Firmament Academy. They were only probing the Academy. They had even set up a trap just to kill him. If it hadn't been for Bei Ziyol's mother arriving in time and using her spatial art to save them, they would have lost their lives here. It was definitely Imputa who was unwilling to simply swallow his anger. He wanted revenge. So, this was a testing blow, as well as a declaration of war. So many sects also participated. Just what was Imputa doing? It seemed that ever since the High Firmament Academy was established, it had never suffered such a grievance. Boom. 
Just then, a bunch of jade talismans exploded in the air. A provoking voice rang throughout the entire High Firmament Academy. Long Chen dared to kill the Killing God's disciple. He has committed a huge sin. If the High Firmament Academy does not want such a play to repeat itself, hand over the culprit. Boom. Another jade talisman exploded and another voice rang out. Long Chen, everyone who was killed today died because of you. You think of yourself as a hero? If you don't want more innocent people of the High Firmament Academy to die because of you, obediently leave the Academy. These talismans had clearly been thrown out in advance before they left. Despicable. Shameless everyone was enraged. The Bloodkill Hall was too shameless to use such a despicable means to force Long Chen to send himself to his death. Without the High Firmament Academy, how was Long Chen, a Divine Flame Disciple, supposed to fight the Bloodkill Hall? The most shameless thing was that they placed the blame for all these deaths on Long Chen and the High Firmament Academy. Another talisman exploded. Seven days later, our Bloodkill Hall's seven branch halls will gather in the Daodon Domain. We'll give you seven days. If you still don't hand over Long Chen by then, these seven branch halls along with the thousands of sects in the Daodon Domain will fight to the death against your High Firmament Academy. Perhaps we won't dare to enter the High Firmament Academy but anyone who steps one foot outside will be mercilessly killed. Do your best. Hearing this, Long Chen was furious and veins throbbed on his forehead. Upon looking at the corpses and blood in this wreckage, his killing intent exploded. Long Chen, calm down. They're doing this intentionally. The Academy isn't afraid of them, said Bei Shishi. She thought that he really would leave the Academy. It seems that the lesson I gave them last time wasn't enough. Then don't blame Boss Long San for being vicious. Looking at the fragments of the Jade Talismans, he had a brazen idea. Seven days? Good. That was enough. Chapter 3188 Handling it himself the sneak attack started quickly and ended just as quickly. In just a few breaths time, the Outer Academy was left a wreckage. Many people felt that things were over before they even started. Seeing the destruction around them, they felt like they were in a nightmare. They couldn't believe their eyes. The reason Long Chen had managed to arrive so quickly was because the place where he had refined the dragon scale wasn't that far. Bei Shishi had arrived quickly because she had been planning on going out for a trip. However, by the time Qin Feng arrived, it was already over. As for young master Chang Chuan, Bei Xiao, Luo Bing, Luo Ning, Mu Qingyan, and the others, they were still in seclusion after just finishing their tribulations. They didn't know what was happening in the outside world. The inner academy's disciples rushed over only to see the devastation, and it dumbfounded them. At this moment, the academy's experts were organizing people to save the heavily wounded disciples and counting the losses. In just this short time, tens of thousands of outer academy disciples had been slain. The only thing to be happy about was that the targets were the outer academy's buildings and those buildings had formations that helped the disciples block most of the power. Otherwise, Divine Lords had enough power to wipe out all the Outer Academy's disciples in just those few breaths. Bei's Hantang was just as ashen as Long Chen but was dragged away by Bei Shishi's mother. As for the higher-ups of the Academy, they didn't show themselves from the start. Long Chen, don't take this to heart. Don't fall for their bait, urged Bei Shishi. Tell our seniors that there is no need for the Academy to do anything about this matter. Within seven days, I will give the Academy an explanation, said Long Chen before turning around and leaving. Long Chen, Bei Shishi was startled. She then tried to grab him, but she couldn't. The only good thing was that he was walking back into the inner Academy, not out. What are you planning? After they've gone this far, are you still planning on cowering like tortoises in their shell? Bei's Hantang's voice rang in a palace hall. This hall was where the dean and the various institute heads were gathered. Right now, all of them had grave expressions. Even the various institute heads had flames of fury in their eyes. The dean frowned and barked. If you want to keep shouting, then get out. For even the amicable dean to get angry, the furious Bei's Hantang instantly shrank back. Are we simply going to endure this? Demanded Bei's Hantang, his voice much quieter. After living for so many years, you still get angry at minor things. How can you do anything important without any steadiness? Do you think you are Long Chen? 
He is nothing more than a child in his twenties. Are you trying to learn how to do things impetuously without thinking about the consequences? Can a temper resolve your problems? If you bring the battle god palace's experts out, will that resolve the problem? Asked the dean angrily. At the very least, we would protect the High Firmament Academy's dignity, declared Bay's Hantang. Bay Shishi and Bay Ziyol's mother shook their heads. They also had no way to deal with his temper. In this state, only the dean could suppress him. Fool, if you don't use our hidden power, how will you handle all the blood kill halls experts that step across worlds? If you do use our hidden power, it will expose us, and we will no longer have a chance to secretly develop. Lord Brahma would declare war. Now isn't the time for that. Understood. Demanded Bailishan angrily. Bay's Hantang finally fell silent but was still ashen with rage. Although he was impetuous, he was no fool. He also knew that the Bloodkill Hall was trying to figure out their bottom line through this probing. The deputy dean said, for Imputa to suddenly attack, there must be some scheme. He has incited so many sects of the heavenly swell domain to attack us together. If we were to directly attack them all, they would definitely spread a story throughout the heavenly swell domain to erase all of the contributions that the High Firmament Academy has made for the heavenly swell domain. They will destroy our reputation. You can do 10,000 good things, only for one bad thing to erase all of them. Imputa knows this, which is why he joined together so many sects and had them wear masks to attack us. This matter is truly thorny. There's no way to counter them. Then what are we going to do? Just endure like this? What about our disciples? Do we let them become the prey? If we can't even protect our disciples, how long will we be able to last with no fresh blood? Demanded Bay's Hantang. There are two ways to resolve this. One is to attack, and the other is to defend. If we attack, our reputation would crumble. So it would be better to defend and activate the killing formation. Didn't they say that they will undergo a large-scale assault if we don't hand over Long Chen within seven days? We can wait for them to attack, and then we can kill as many as we want without anyone being able to say anything about it, said an institute head. Quite a few people nodded. This method was quite dependable. If they were going to come again, then the killing formation could kill them. Just then, a voice came from outside the palace hall. However, this will only encourage those little people's arrogance. They will think that the High Firmament Academy has already fallen. People rarely send charcoal in winter, but they will throw stones at someone who falls into a well. Countless powers will think that the High Firmament Academy is weak enough for them to join the Bloodkill Hall against us. Although the Bloodkill Hall has said those ruthless words, if they don't come in seven days and merely surround us, what can we do? Beishishi walked in. Her words were difficult to bear but correct. They couldn't attack, and they wouldn't have a chance to defend. Normally, for Beishishi to barge into this place was a very rude conduct. However, Beishishi merely smiled slightly. Even at such a young age, Beishishi was able to think this far. That fellow has said that he won't make things hard for the High Firmament Academy. He'll handle it himself. After saying that, Beishishi bowed to everyone. She turned and left leaving behind the dumbfounded institute heads. Chapter 3189 An Ocean of Devil Corpses The fact that the High Firmament Academy was attacked shook the entire heavenly swell domain. However, thinking about it, Long Chen had killed Ji Yui Yun right in front of Imputa. There was no way that a world king wouldn't retaliate. However, it had to be known that the High Firmament Academy was the oldest academy within the Nine Heavens and Ten Lands. Its foundation ran shockingly deep. Although it had declined, no matter how far it declined, it was still the High Firmament Academy. Lord Brahma's power in the immortal world was immense, and countless sects had submitted to him. But the High Firmament Academy always ignored his threat. Even after so many years, no matter how dissatisfied Lord Brahma was with the High Firmament Academy, he was unable to launch a frontal assault. Now, Imputa had sent out a sneak attack on the academy. This matter was probably not as simple as it seemed on the surface. Perhaps Gui Yun's death gave Lord Brahma's side the excuse to start a war with the High Firmament Academy. After all, Imputa had sent a probing blow. This might be the premonition of a fight to the death between these two colossal figures.
Countless sects shivered with fear and trepidation. Some old monsters announced that they were going into seclusion, while the disciples were sternly forbidden from taking half a step outside of the sect however. Some sects had sent people to the Blood Kill Hall just to show their loyalty to Lord Brahma. Although a hundred sects were nothing compared to the total number of sects in the Heavenly Swell Domain, it had to be mentioned that these hundred sects all ranked near the top in terms of strength. According to actual power, they represented half of the Heavenly Swell Domain's strength. Moreover, they had no choice but to stand on Imputa's side because Long Chen had said that when he advanced to the Four Peak Realm, if their sects had yet to disband, he would destroy them. Their inheritances stretched back tens of thousands of years. So how could they allow such an inheritance to vanish because of one man's threat? Hence, they had no choice but to bind themselves to Imputa's thick leg. After the sneak attack on the High Firmament Academy, no further movements occurred. As a result, countless rumors swirled throughout the Heavenly Swell Domain. They were mostly saying that the High Firmament Academy had completely decayed to the point that they were an empty shell. They weren't a match for the Blood Kill Hall. It was said that during this attack, the Blood Kill Hall had only sent a single Outer Domains branch sect however, when the six other branch halls gathered, even an immortal king might appear, and their number of primal divine lords would be in the hundreds. That was enough power to sweep through the Heavenly Swell Domain, clearly. Imputa was truly enraged. At this moment, no one had a high opinion of the High Firmament Academy's chances. One day, two days, three days, time passed bit by bit. No news came from the High Firmament Academy. It was on the fourth day when a rumor spread that a group of primal assassins from the Blood Kill Hall had slipped into the High Firmament Academy's inner academy to kill their disciples. However, those assassins were killed by the Academy's experts as soon as they charged in, but they still killed a few disciples. Those assassins were death warriors who had been sent with almost no hope of returning alive. They only went in to kill people. This rumor shook countless experts. The Blood Kill Hall was truly terrifying. However, no news came from the High Firmament Academy. Even the arrogant and domineering Long Chen didn't make a single sound. Hence, Countless people cursed him for being a coward hiding in his tortoise shell. This unlucky star was about to bring down the entire High Firmament Academy. Thanks to the waves pushed on by certain people, Long Chen was turned into an irredeemable villain. All his heroism was faked. They repeatedly threw whatever dirty water they could on him, but no response came. No one knew that just as everyone was eyeing the High Firmament Academy, a batch of products from the Huaian Trading Company was sent over. Many thanks. When Long Chen looked at the mountains of devil beast corpses within the various trunks, he was extremely grateful. Mr. Long Chen is too courteous. Manager Xuan Ming has said that no matter what you want, we are to do everything we can to help. There are 176,545 devil beast corpses here. There are 500 at the late stage Divine Lord Realm. 1,626 at the mid-stage, 18,300 at the early stage, and the rest at the Four Peak Realm. This is currently our entire stock in the Heavenly Swell Domain. After all, Devil Beast Corpses aren't one of our main businesses. They are mostly collected by some subordinates. So we don't have any higher quality ones. My apologies, said the person from the Huaian Trading Company who had come. Long Chen had originally wanted the High Firmament Academy to help him gather a large number of Devil Beast corpses. However, the Academy always split apart the corpses and threw away the flesh, leaving behind only the important crystal core and valuable parts. However, Long Chen needed their flesh. It was the crystal cores that were worthless to him. Thus, he went to ask the Huaian Trading Company for help. Long Chen didn't know if it was due to the matter of the Nine Prefecture Convention causing Xuan Ming to feel like he owed Long Chen a debt, but the Huaian Trading Company directly started gathering these corpses in large numbers. Even some mercenaries' devil corpses were bought just for Long Chen. It went without saying that they were truly dependable. Whether it was the Martial Heaven Continent's Huaian sect or the current Huaian Trading Company, they had never let Long Chen down. After sending off that person, Long Chen directly tossed the devil corpses into the primal chaos space's black soil. 
The giant area of black soil was like a gaping maw that would never get full. Those devil beast corpses were gigantic but were quickly devoured. After that, life energy spread throughout the primal chaos space. The wood foundation divine trees grew extremely slowly. But with this nourishment, they began growing at a rate visible to the naked eye. They grew straight up, both slender and long like javelins. It was only once they reached an astonishing height that they began to sprout. With a bunch of leaves on them, they finally appeared a bit more like trees. They were no longer just bare poles. However, after that, their growth rate slowed down once more. They stopped shooting straight up and began to thicken. They were originally so thin that you could wrap your arms around them. But after two hours of devouring this life energy, they had reached a diameter of three meters. And marks had also appeared on the tree bark. They no longer appeared to be giant saplings. In just a short six hours, those devil beast corpses were all devoured. As for the wood foundation divine trees, they had reached a width surpassing six meters. Every single one of them contained an astonishing amount of life energy. Excellent. With such a powerful shield, no matter how many injuries I take, I won't have to worry. It was already the sixth day when he was done. On this day, he dragged Chin Fung over to Bei Ziaol's mother. Senior, please bring us on a trip to the Falling Sunset Prefecture's Blood Kill Hall. The time for them to repay their blood debt has come. Novaloon.com Chapter 3190 Heavenly Tribulation Divine Punishment The Falling Sunset Prefecture was at the southern border of the Heavenly Swell Domain. This prefecture was filled with desolate mountains and empty lakes. It was the prefecture with the least people among the nine prefectures. However, it had been rather lively lately. In the northwest mountain range, within a mysterious valley, a towering statue had been constructed. That was a statue of Imputa. At the end of this valley was a stone mountain that had been carved into a palace. This place had become a branch of the Bloodkill Hall. Compared to the Martial Heaven continent, the Bloodkill Hall was more exposed here. In the immortal world, Although the Bloodkill Hall's reputation was terrible, they were backed by Imputa. So even if people knew, no one dared to challenge them. There were naturally some terrifying powers that the Bloodkill Hall didn't dare to offend, and the Bloodkill Hall didn't do anything to those powerful forces. It was only those that they could offend that they targeted. So the Bloodkill Hall was able to live out in the sun in the immortal world. Countless experts were coming and going here. It was exceptionally lively. Within the palace was a flood of people. They seemed to be gathering. On top of a large mountain, Long Chen watched them from a distance. Killing intent burned in his eyes when he looked at the statue and those people. This place is the limit. Those fellows seem to be prepared for if we attack them. They fully activated Imputa's divine sense formation. My spatial divine ability cannot hide from them, said Bei Ziaol's mother. She had brought Long Chen and Qin Feng here, originally. With her spatial talent, she should have been able to bring them closer. But the Bloodkill Hall wasn't giving them any chance to sneak attack. No problem. As long as Senior can send us to that plaza, everything will be handled. I'd like Senior to keep watch from the side. I will send Chin Feng out in a bit. So please help me receive him, said Long Chen. Are you sure about this? Asked Bei Ziaol's mother. She hadn't even asked what Long Chen was planning. But his current appearance already told her. When Long Chen asked her for help, she received word from the dean to not ask anything and directly agree. So she brought Long Chen and Qin Feng here. Seeing the Bloodkill Hall's experts milling about, it seemed that they weren't bragging. They had most likely brought all the experts of multiple branches of theirs. There were also the heads of many other powers present. Long Chen wanted to undergo tribulation here? That was truly a crazy idea. With so many divine lords here, it would transform into a heavenly tribulation capable of killing them all. However, as long as the person undergoing tribulation was killed, the tribulation would end immediately. Before those divine lords were slain, Long Chen himself might be killed by the tribulation. Hence, she very much wished to urge him to give up. This was impossible. She didn't know why the academy wasn't stopping him. Senior, don't worry. I do this very often. It's a walk in the park. As long as you can send us in, you can just watch the fun from the side, said Long Chen, a sinister coldness flashing in his eyes. They wished to play? 
He had long since stopped playing using such meaningless tricks. But since they wanted to play, he would make it even bigger. Long Chen originally hadn't wanted to take this risk. He knew that his heavenly tribulations were always terrifying. If he underwent it in the auspicious land, it should give him a slightly higher chance of success. His tribulations were always killer tribulations. However, the blood kill hall had completely infuriated him. If he didn't give them a proper lesson, how would they know who Boss Long San was? All right. Bezaiol's mother didn't say much else. She slowly formed hand seals. At this moment, Long Chen took a deep breath, and Chin Feng was completely focused. He was in his peak state. He knew what was about to happen, but he wasn't nervous. Instead, he was excited. Suddenly, a streak of light enveloped Long Chen and Chin Feng, bringing them flying toward the blood kill hall. A barrier instantly appeared in front of them, and an ear-piercing alarm rang out. Long Chen and Chin Feng smashed into the barrier. After that, the light covering them vanished. They felt that space had been displaced, and they suddenly found themselves on the head of the giant statue. The sound of the alarm drew out countless experts. When they saw Long Chen and Chin Feng, they were dumbfounded. Idiots of the Blood Kill Hall, as well as the rest of you fools. I told you not to provoke me, but you refused to listen. Today, I'll let you regret it in hell. Long Chen's aura suddenly changed. When his divine flames erupted, he broke through his shackles, sending his cultivation base to the 13th heaven stage. In that instant, the world turned dark, and a dark mass of tribulation clouds gathered. It was as if the heavens were about to collapse. The world rumbled and the earth split open. It felt like space was being crushed. The Blood Kill Hall's experts were all stunned. They had never seen such a terrifying tribulation. Even Bezaiol's mother was shocked. She was a divine lord and had experienced the divine lord tribulation, but even that didn't possess such a terrifying power. This heavenly tribulation contained pure destructive will that made her shudder. Her soul felt like it was being stabbed. What is going on? How can this tribulation contain no aura of the Tao or law? It's only destruction, without a trace of life. Beishishi's mother stared in shock. This tribulation, it proves that he is the destined one. Just then, the dean appeared by her side, along with the other higher-ups of the Academy Noveloon.com you all. Beishishi's mother was startled. She wasn't even aware that the dean had been following them. Junior sister, let's just watch for now. Beishishi's mother smiled and pulled her to her side. Beishishi had also come, seeing that tribulation and sensing its destructive might. She couldn't help feeling fear. In the distance, they heard Long Chen shout, You pack of fools. Boss Long San has to do some heaven-shaking things, or you'll never understand that Boss Long San calls the Yama King brother, this bastard. Seeing Long Chen and Chin Feng suddenly pull down their trousers, she hastily turned her head away. Bei Shishi and Bei Ziaol's mothers also looked away speechlessly. In front of countless dumbfounded gazes, Long Chen and Chin Feng soaked in Puta's divine statue with their urine. Courting death, the Blood Kill Hall's experts were enraged. It drew them out of their stupor, and they charged at Long Chen. They would not permit anyone to blaspheme the killing god. Boom. At this moment, Long Chen's saber swung out, not at those experts, but at the tribulation clouds in the sky. What those experts came to a shocked stop again. Someone dared to attack tribulation clouds? That was equivalent to becoming enemies with the heavenly deos. Was he defying the heavens? The tribulation clouds were split apart rumbling intensely, shaking people's ears until they felt like their ears were being stabbed. Even divine lords fell deaf, unable to hear anything else. The surging lightning was like an ancient beast that was awoken from its slumber by a slap in the face. Run. The dean suddenly waved his hand. Everyone vanished. Just then, the ground within a hundred thousand miles became covered in ripples. Crap. We've been locked down by the heavenly tribulation exclaimed a divine lord. Chapter 3191 Destroying Heaven and Earth The heavenly tribulation covered heaven and earth, trapping all life forms within its domain. Its destructive will fill this domain. This was the rage of the heavenly deos. It could destroy the very world. Heavenly tribulations could only be endured, not fought. This was a principle that had never changed from the beginning of time. But today. 
Long Chen was challenging the heavenly tribulation. When Long Chen and Qin Feng suddenly appeared, these assassins didn't think about how to handle them. They didn't believe that these two would just send themselves to their death. Thinking that it was a trap, they paid more attention to the surroundings. That one moment of doubt gave Long Chen his chance. Everything was within his calculations. These assassins were all crafty. They had habits ingrained into them to always figure out the situation first before moving. Hence, their first reaction would be to figure out why he had appeared here. It was that meticulous hesitation that resulted in them falling into his trap. At this moment, Heavenly Might locked on to every single person. They had become targets of the Heavenly Tribulation. The most appalling thing about this tribulation was that there were no Heavenly Tribulation Law Swords descending down toward the Divine Lords. The so-called Heavenly Tribulation Law Swords were the judgment of the Heavenly Tribulation. Those swords would kill anyone disturbing the Heavenly Tribulation and they could ignore a person's cultivation base to wipe them out. After all, no matter how strong a person was, they couldn't contend against the heavens. These assassins weren't that afraid of Long Chen's tribulation because as long as they killed him before the heavenly tribulation law swords descended, everything would be over. However, they had been locked down, but the law swords still hadn't manifested. That meant that they were not considered disturbing the heavenly tribulation by being there. In other words, the power of Long Chen's heavenly tribulation was so high that their existence here didn't disturb it. Thus, the Law Swords didn't appear. Such a heavenly tribulation probably hasn't appeared more than a few times in all of the immortal world's history muttered Bezaiol's mother. Just now, even she hadn't reacted. It was the Dean who had brought them away. Otherwise, they might have been covered by the tribulation as well. Kill him quickly. The Blood Kill Hall's experts had a bad feeling. A sensation of death welled up inside their hearts. Boom. However, before they could move, Long Chen attacked the tribulation once again. A giant saber image left a crack in the clouds. After that, the tribulation cloud slowly swirled and descended. The pressure increased until it was like a river of stars was pressing down on them. As a result, the earth crumbled and collapsed. The buildings of the Blood Kill Hall were destroyed. It looked as if Judgment Day had come. Some of the four peak experts were unable to endure that pressure and directly exploded. No, many of those four peak experts belonged to the Heavenly Swell Domain and had participated in the Nine Prefecture Convention, as well as the sneak attack on the High Firmament Academy. Now, they paid the price. Senior Apprentice Brother Long Chen, let us off. We were forced to do this. A four peak expert cried out only for the distraction to cause him to be crushed by the pressure. Forced? Ha ha ha. Long Chen laughed. This isn't the first time I tell you not to provoke me. But you simply don't know what respect is. Treating my warning as pleading. Let you off? Who will let off the innocent disciples of the High Firmament Academy who were killed? When you killed them, did you think about this day? All of you can die. Even the wild thunder booming in the air couldn't cover up Long Chen's roar. His voice was filled with killing intent. Boom. When Long Chen slashed the tribulation clouds once again, the slowly descending clouds came to a brief stop. At that moment, the world fell deathly silent. They could only hear their hearts beating. In that instant, terror filled all of their hearts, including the Divine Lords. They suddenly found that they couldn't move. At this time, they couldn't charge at Long Chen even if they wanted to. Those Divine Lords finally understood just what kind of foolish mistake they had made by hesitating. Their one chance at survival had slipped out of their reach. The heavenly tribulation clouds began to swirl like a giant vortex. All of a sudden, the center of it lit up, like a fiend's eye that had just opened. That eye was thousands of miles wide. At this moment, the entire world grew blindingly bright. So bright that people couldn't even open their eyes. Boss. I feel like I might die. Looking at this terrifying tribulation, Chin Feng turned green. At first, he had been very excited to undergo tribulation with his boss. That would definitely benefit him immensely. Novaloon.com, however, sensing this power, he felt like he was an ant within a storm of steel. Just touching it would cause him to turn into dust. Long Chen smiled. It really was a correct decision to bring Chin Feng here, even in the face of death. He could still joke around. 
Aren't you satisfied to bring so many others down with you in death? Said Long Chen. Boom. A bolt of lightning suddenly crashed down. From a distance, it looked like a silver flood. In front of it, humans seemed completely minuscule. When the pressure soared, this territory of the Blood Kill Hall was completely destroyed. All the buildings were gone and the earth sank. Anyone below the Divine Lord realm turned into splatters of blood. The High Firmament Academy's higher-ups were stunned to see this. Even with all their experience, seeing millions of experts slain in an instant horrified them. The Blood Kill Hall had gathered the experts of over a hundred sects, as well as the experts of multiple branch halls. But just like that, they were slain. Whether it was primals or ordinary disciples, as long as they were below the Divine Lord realm, they were wiped out. Witnessing so many deaths occur in an instant was such a shocking sight that couldn't be described with words. The lightning then fell on Long Chen's body. When that happened, the divine statue rumbled. Imputa's statue was the only construction remaining in this area. Long Chen allowed the torrent of lightning to fall on him. The silver flood was composed of countless lightning runes, and they exploded like volcanoes when they struck his body. Long Chen could ignore this level of lightning. But Qin Feng was unable to. His body instantly turned bloody. However, he clenched his teeth and bitterly endured. This was a huge opportunity for him, as it was the fastest way to increase the power of his physical body. It was the key to fully unlocking the power of his new dragon blood. As more lightning poured down, even Divine Lords started to reach their limit. Although their realm was high, the power of their physical bodies couldn't compare to Qin Feng's. In front of this heavenly tribulation, their realm was meaningless. Divine Lords began to get crushed into a mass of terror and regret. After a while, only over a hundred primal Divine Lords still managed to hang out. They came from outside of this domain, and they were true experts. But in front of this terrifying heavenly tribulation, they didn't dare to even move or dodge. They couldn't resist. As soon as they made any move, it would draw the attention of the heavenly tribulation, and that was no different from courting death. This was Long Chen's tribulation, so the heavenly tribulation was targeting him. If they made any moves, the tribulation would turn its attention on them. The tribulation is already so terrifying right from the start. Can Long Chen really survive it? Asked an institute head worriedly as he looked up at the heavenly tribulation. It was only going to grow even more powerful. Chapter 3192 You're finally here this terrifying tribulation made everyone afraid. Furthermore, it had just started. If Long Chen really was in danger of failing, no one could save him. Anyone who tried to would definitely die. It had nothing to do with how high that person's realm was. Don't speak to avoid getting caught by the heavenly tribulation and invoking karma, said the dean. Hearing this warning. The other higher-ups of the academy shuddered. They instantly shut their mouths. Any karma grasped by the heavenly deos would be troublesome. At this moment, the heavenly lightning raged like an angry sea. This place became a sea of lightning. The remaining experts of the blood kill hall were like tiny boats trying to survive within this raging sea. They didn't dare to flee or resist. So they could only bitterly endure. Chin Feng coughed up blood. The lightning ravaged his body almost tearing him apart. He was reaching his limit. He had just refined the resonance dragon's reverse scale, so his physical body had grown terrifyingly powerful. Just the power of his physical body surpassed the primal divine lords of the blood kill hall. However, he was at the center of the tribulation with Long Chen. The pressure he was enduring was far greater than what those experts were enduring. Just then, a curtain of light appeared over Qin Feng's body. A lightning dragon could be seen within that barrier, and it devoured some of the lightning attacking him, reducing the pressure on him until he could just barely manage to hang on. There was no need for Long Chen to say anything. Qin Feng was also aware that every extra second he could endure during this heavenly tribulation would benefit him immensely. He refused to let himself admit defeat or fall unconscious. This was his conviction. This heavenly tribulation wasn't even targeting him. It was targeting his boss. If he couldn't even endure this bit of power, how could he be qualified to follow his boss any longer? Bei Shishi watched as Qin Feng clenched his teeth and endured. She sighed inside. As expected, there were no shortcuts to becoming an expert. Previously, 
She had been shocked by Qin Feng's powerful will and mental strength. Now that she saw him facing the wrath of the heavens, his body being pushed to the limit but still persevering, she understood. The will of the heavenly deos was like a sharpening blade tempering a person's will. Having also gone through the heavenly tribulation, she knew just how terrifying it was. Furthermore, Long Chen's heavenly tribulation was no ordinary heavenly tribulation. It was like a heavenly punishment. The sharpening blade became a hammer. So it wasn't sharpening him. It was hammering him. It was hard to imagine just how great the heavenly might that was crashing down on them was. Seeing how ashen those primal divine lords were and how they didn't even dare to move. It had to be terrifying. Now Baishishi could understand just how Long Chen could resist the will of a world king. No matter how powerful a world king was, could they surpass the heavens? Baishishi felt a bit regretful. If she could be like Long Chen and dared to challenge the heavenly tribulation, she didn't know just how much stronger her will would be. Of course, after thinking about it calmly, if she failed, it would be the end of everything. More lightning runes poured down without any sign of weakening. Instead, they simply grew stronger. Long Chen had his upper body bare and his hands raised toward the heavens. He seemed to be bathing in lightning. Although this lightning was wild, it was absorbed into his body like water in a dried up water bed. Those lightning runes went from rampaging tigers to gentle sheep once they were in his body. They gradually merged into his flesh and blood. After the dragon blood had changed his body, he was now many times stronger. Furthermore, the golden dragon blood gradually transformed, going from gold to red. But when it became red, it grew even more active than before. Long Chen didn't know why such a thing would occur. All he knew was that this was a good thing. Through the baptism of this heavenly tribulation, the golden dragon essence blood would truly become one with his body. As he sucked in this lightning, millions of tiny lightning dragons swam through the air. They were continuously absorbing the lightning. However, Lai Long was only absorbing them bit by bit, afraid that it would affect Long Chen if too much was absorbed. Furthermore, Lai Long was also controlling the intensity of the lightning pouring down on Qin Fang, not letting it surpass his limits. Long Chen had said that the big feast was coming later, so there was no rush. Suddenly, the void shuddered and countless life forms fell from the heavens, charging at Long Chen. Some of them were of the human race with strange clothes, but there were also all kinds of beasts. There were dragons, phoenixes, goblin monsters, wild devils, demonic beasts, and many more. Many of them were things that people had never seen before. Those life forms roared and charged at Long Chen as if he was the one who had killed them when they were alive. An aura of resentment erupted. It was as if the gates to hell had been opened. The heavenly tribulation has manifested the resentful spirits of the dead? These are all life forms he killed in his life, exclaimed Bei's Hantang. Legend had it that those who had killed too many people would have a chance to face such a manifestation during their heavenly tribulation. Those life forms that had been slain would manifest during the tribulation to get revenge on their killer. It was said that these heavenly tribulation manifestations were connected by the karma of the heavenly deos. These resentful life forms absorbed the power of the heavenly tribulation to match the power of the one undergoing tribulation. Normally, such a manifestation declared that the person undergoing tribulation would be killed for sure. Such a tribulation was not just difficult to survive, it was practically impossible to beat. These life forms continued to pour out limitlessly. They easily surpassed the billions. Even the Blood Kill Hall's experts were affected. However, the Blood Kill Hall's experts didn't attack back. Someone had summoned divine energy barriers, only to be torn apart. A life form that looked like a human skeleton wielding a giant blade slashed through his defenses and struck, causing him to cough up blood. These life forms were covered in lightning, and their attacks contained the might of the heavens. Even primals, who were capable of blocking the attack, were unable to block the will of the heavens that attacked them as well. As a result, that person's mind almost shattered. Chant the Divine Sutra. Summon Divine Protection Someone from the Blood Kill Hall shouted, and everyone began to chant at the same time. After that, their forehead split open, and blood poured out, condensing into chains that linked them all together. Imputa's divine statue glowed. At this moment, a divine mark appeared on his chest. 
Its light joined with those blood chains, and the statue's closed eyes flew open. Imputa's aura manifested. Imputa, you're finally here. I want to ask you, how do you feel now? Long Chen smiled as he fought off the attacks of those life forms with the lightning blade. Chapter 3194 Black Sword This is the Four Peaks Election. An institute had cried out in shock. Those sharp swords contained all the essences and attributes of the 10,000 deos within heaven and earth. This should be the final segment of the heavenly tribulation. However, why was it different from other people's tribulations? Other people had their heavenly daruns hidden in the void. But here, the heavenly daruns were hidden within sharp swords. Every sword contained destructive power. Even the institute heads felt fear toward them. Chin Fang. Focus, shouted Long Chen. This was the final moment. Chin Feng had to endure. Boss, I can hold on. Chin Feng's vision was starting to blur. It felt like an endless hell was closing in on him. This pressure almost made his will collapse. As for Long Chen's voice, it seemed to be like a whisper of the wind in Chin Feng's ears. His body shuddered as he concentrated his final bit of power on staying conscious. The millions of lightning dragons gathered condensing into one giant dragon that wrapped around Long Chen and Qin Fang. However, even its combined body seemed weak in front of those sharp swords. They easily pierced into its body, leaving giant holes. Fortunately, it wrapped itself around them in multiple layers, and some of those lightning swords exploded within its body. Long Chen eyed those swords. He then suddenly made his move. His hand reached out four times. Four of those swords were caught by Long Chen and stabbed into Qin Feng's body. As a result, his body became covered in cracks and almost shattered. Just like that, Long Chen grabbed Qin Feng and sent him flying out like a cannonball. That direction was where Bei Ziaol's mother and the others were. Bei Ziaol's mother hastily formed hand seals. When Qin Feng reached the edge of the heavenly tribulation, space twisted and he was transported right in front of them. The heavenly tribulation is chasing. The institute heads cried out. The tribulation clouds in the sky were rumbling, preparing to spread toward them. Boom. Just at this moment, Long Chen charged into the heavens with lightning raging on top of his black saber. A giant saber image tore through the tribulation clouds. Seemingly enraged by Long Chen, they ignored Qin Fang. As the range of the tribulation shrank, the power of the lightning swords raining down on Long Chen instantly increased. However, the others had no time to look at Long Chen. They had to heal Qin Fang, who was on the verge of death. The current him only had half a breath of life more than a dead person. Blood, flesh, tendon, bone, and all of them were rank 7 runes. Did Long Chen want him to die? Bei's Hantang examined the four bloody holes in Qin Feng's body. There were four different violet runes sealed inside them. He had actually given Qin Feng four rank seven runes at once with similar properties. This was no different than murder. No, stop wasting words and heal him. He really will die like that, urged Bei Shishi's mother. Bei's Hantang hastily got to work. Thanks to everyone's combined efforts, they managed to protect Qin Feng's life. However, when it came to those four heavenly daruns in his body, there was nothing that they could do. They could only let him slowly absorb them. During this time, Qin Feng would probably have to suffer quite a bit of pain. But it was all worth it. Only once Qin Feng was saved did they turn back to Long Chen. A dragon mark had appeared on Long Chen's black saber, and it was covered in wild lightning. Those lightning swords were being hacked apart. Li Long had merged its power into the black saber, aiding Long Chen against the heavenly tribulation. Even so, countless lightning swords continued to strike Long Chen's body. Those swords stabbed into his body and exploded. Their power was easily enough to kill a divine lord as every sword contained destructive will. It was not like other people's heavenly tribulations where the heavenly daruns were the reward for passing the tribulation. There was no such choice for Long Chen to make. All the heavenly daruns were simply trying to kill him. Because of them, Long Chen was quickly covered in blood. Some of those runes flickered with a seven-colored coldness that directly pierced straight through his body. Peak rank heavenly daruns. When they saw the seven-colored light, they knew that it was the manifestation of a peak rank heavenly darun. However, those lightning swords looked the same as the others. 
It was only when they pierced through Long Chen's body or struck his saber that they would reveal their light. It was as if they were hiding themselves. Suddenly, Long Chen roared and raised his saber. With nothing blocking their way, those swords pierced into his body. After that, a giant saber image tore into the heavens. Split the heavens. Long Chen's saber fell. Suddenly, amongst those countless swords appeared a black lightning sword. What is that? Why is it black? There's no record of such a thing. The Institute heads exclaimed in shock. They had never seen or heard of such a thing. Boom. The black saber collided with the black sword. When the black ripples spread from the point of collision, the other lightning swords were blasted apart. The power of that black sword was truly terrifying. The collision shook Long Chen's insides and turned his arms numb. Lai Long, hurry. My survival depends on you. Transmitted Long Chen. At the same time, the primal chaos space's life energy poured into his body. Lai Long crazily absorbed the lightning runes in the air. Only when it was strong enough could Long Chen resist the power of that black lightning. Otherwise, he would be killed by this tribulation. He had just knocked away the first black sword when another black sword appeared behind him, not giving him any time to dodge. It pierced through his back and out his chest, leaving a bowl-sized bloody hole. What is this? Bei Shishi started to panic. Those black swords contained destructive power, and it was impossible to tell what kind of rune they contained. There was some terrifying, sinister aura on top of them. It wasn't something that should appear within a heavenly tribulation. No one answered her because no one knew what those black swords represented. The sinister aura gave them chills. Only the dean was lost in thought as he looked at the black swords. No one knew what he was thinking. Chapter 3195 Crisis of Life and Death Long Chen's chest was pierced through, and black lightning still lingered on top of the wound. That sinister aura gave even Bei's Hantang and the others the chills. This was a kind of unknown power. How could such a thing appear in a heavenly tribulation? However, Long Chen's expression was still completely calm as he faced those black lightning swords. He didn't show the slightest bit of panic. Seeing him like this, Bei Ziaol's mother now understood why he had said that he was very familiar with this. Long Chen's lightning-covered blade slashed the black swords repeatedly. With every clash, ripples would spread and shatter the other lightning swords. Even peak rank runic swords were nothing in front of those black swords. Those black lightning swords seemed to have come from hell. They were sinister and domineering. It seemed that they wouldn't rest until Long Chen was slain. Furthermore, every blow was incredibly heavy and required all of Long Chen's power to receive. As a result, cracks could be seen all over his body. Fortunately, the primal chaos space was filled with wood foundation divine trees that offered him an enormous amount of life energy. Because of them, he quickly healed. It went without saying that the wood foundation divine trees were truly powerful. Even injuries of the heavenly deos could be instantly healed by their life energy. Without them, Long Chen would have died long ago. At this moment, the void shuddered and another black lightning sword appeared. The three black swords then weaved through the air repeatedly striking Long Chen. No matter what he did, he was unable to break them. Everyone's heart clenched. If those black swords didn't break, then considering that they were in the heavenly tribulation, they would have an unending supply of energy. But Long Chen would run out of energy sooner or later. The three black swords danced around him, and Long Chen fought intensely against them. As for the other lightning swords, he no longer had time to bother with them. As long as they didn't strike him in his vitals, he let them strike him. He needed all of his attention on those black swords. Even though the swords containing rank 7 runes could pierce his skin, they weren't able to pose a mortal threat to him. He only had to be a bit more careful of the peak rank 7 colored runes and avoid being struck in his vital parts. As for rank 6 swords and below, they could be ignored. But even then, there were too many rank 7 and peak rank lightning swords. They repeatedly injured him. Anyone else would dream of obtaining a peak rank rune. However, those heavenly daruns were now the swords trying to take his life. The higher-ups of the academy didn't know if this was simply how his tribulation should have been, or if it was due to him continuously provoking the heavenly deos, causing them to unleash this heavenly punishment. In any case, they had never seen such a terrifying tribulation before. Furthermore, 
they only dared to watch and didn't even attempt to record it, that might be instantly sensed by the heavenly deos. Even if the act wasn't punished immediately, it might cause karmic retributions for them later. It might even implicate the karmic luck of their families, resulting in their family line coming to an end. Such a heavenly tribulation could not be recorded. Anyone who tried would suddenly start to encounter all kinds of misfortunes. They definitely wouldn't have a good ending, and anyone tied to them might also be affected. Thus, such a thing could only be transmitted through word of mouth. As time passed, such a thing would become a story that people doubted the veracity of. However, this black lightning seemed to be some kind of taboo, so they only dared to look. They didn't dare to even spread word of this, afraid of it bringing some kind of bad karma. Suddenly, another black bolt appeared in the air. Just as Long Chen was fighting the first three black swords, the fourth one slashed into Long Chen's body with no warning at all. Long Chen was almost cut in two and blood flew through the air. His abdomen was almost emptied. Bei Shishi and the others covered their mouths, almost crying out. Long Chen was just a bit off from dying. How close. Long Chen's heart shook. Fortunately, he had been prepared for this and had had Lai Long place a layer of lightning over his bones. This layer of lightning was black. It was the power that Lai Long had just started to absorb by blocking the attacks of these black swords. Long Chen quickly drew out the energy of the Wood Foundation Divine Trees to heal. But afterward, his expression changed. This time, his wound was too severe. The Wood Foundation Divine Trees were starting to show signs of withering. In other words, any more life energy he extracted might kill them. If he took another wound like that, it might take all their remaining energy to recover from it. Then it would be difficult to escape death. I can't continue like this. Long Chen felt an unprecedented feeling of danger. He would die if he continued like this. Lai Long, help out. Long Chen shouted inside. As one black sword flew over, Long Chen swung his saber, blocking it. At the same time, a black lightning rune appeared on his left palm. He snatched the sword. The moment he grabbed the black sword, the void shuddered along with Long Chen's arm. After that, the flesh of his arm was blown off all the way to the bone. Countless black runes flowed on top of his bones and then formed chains that bound the black sword to his hand. In that instant, the will of the heavenly deos poured into his mind sea. The gushing power tried to overwhelm his mind sea and blow it apart. But then, the divine gate in his mind sea opened. The divine gate star blazed as if it had been disturbed by the black lightning, and the mysterious energy pouring into his mind sea was absorbed by it. At the same time, Long Chen's Feng Fu, Aliyah, Life Fate, Enlightenment Palace, and Nethergate stars also lit up. Every star had a black lightning rune appear on top of them. Following that, six stars appeared behind Long Chen, shattering heaven and earth. An irresistible power then erupted, crushing all the swords in the air. However, after a single flash, those six stars vanished without a trace. It was as if it was nothing more than an illusion. As for the black sword, it escaped his hold. Long Chen felt like his body had changed, but he was unable to tell what that change was. Lai Long, Long Chen suddenly formed hand seals. A whirlpool then appeared on top of his hand. Lightning summoning art. The shattered swords left lightning runes remaining in the air. They were instantly sucked into Long Chen's lightning whirlpool. At the core, a lightning mark gradually grew brighter. Suddenly, a heaven-shaking row rang out. A giant lightning dragon then appeared within the world, emitting endless dragon might. Chapter 3196 Purgatory Eyes Sealing Art Long Chen had taken the risk of grabbing one of those black lightning swords and attempting to absorb it. It was because only once Lai Long had absorbed enough of this black lightning would it be able to protect him from it. Otherwise, even with the healing ability of the Wood Foundation Divine Trees, he would still die. However, he hadn't expected such a thing to occur. The lightning sword hadn't been absorbed, but a strange rune had appeared on the six stars for a moment. Moreover, the six star battle armor had manifested on its own accord. He didn't know what kind of power had been activated, but other than those black swords, the rest were all shattered. Since he was unable to absorb the black sword, he immediately switched to absorbing all those shattered lightning swords. Their runes were quickly absorbed by Lai Long. Lai Long crazily devoured all those runes, 
and its power instantly soared. Its dragon might shook the heavens. Normally, Lai Long was unable to absorb so much at once, but those shattered lightning swords had lost their own will and didn't resist as they were absorbed. Lai Long's thunder force instantly soared to an incomprehensible level. Just then, the four black swords pierced toward Long Chen once more. They flew straight at him. As the heavenly deos had locked onto him, there was nowhere for him to run. Lai Long roared, and a dragon claw larger than a mountain clashed against those four black swords. The earth was torn apart by the claw. However, the four black swords seemed to be able to ignore Lai Long's power, swimming through its body like fish in water. Boom. Long Chen once more blocked with all his power, only for his arm to almost be destroyed. He was sent flying. Lai Long, don't fight them. Join forces with me, shouted Long Chen. He saw that those four black swords absorbed some of Lai Long's energy when they pierced through its body, while Lai Long's attack was completely ineffective. This seemed to be a matter of quality. Although Lai Long had just absorbed a huge amount of thunder force, it didn't make up for the gap in nature. Lai Long instantly vanished, transferring all its power to Long Chen. As a result, a lighting battle armor appeared on Long Chen's body. His black saber flickered with black lightning. With Lai Long supporting him, he was able to greatly reduce the damage those black swords were doing. Even if they did manage to strike his body, the protection of the lightning armor would prevent major wounds. Long Chen's confidence rose. With this lightning battle armor, he could greatly reduce the amount of life energy being used. Like this, there was still hope. Just then, the fifth black sword appeared. When it manifested, the tribulation clouds in the sky shrank. After that, the sixth sword appeared, and half the tribulation clouds vanished. Finally, the remaining tribulation clouds shuddered and shrank, transforming into the seventh sword. The final three swords had absorbed all the power of the tribulation. The last one in particular possessed divine might that could destroy heaven and earth. When it came for Long Chen, he was unable to block it and was sent flying, hacking up blood. Even his lightning battle armor was on the verge of crumbling Noveloon.com Lai Long hastily condensed the armor again, but Long Chen's expression changed. Lai Long was already doing its best to absorb this black lightning, but the black lightning was difficult to absorb. Even up to this point, the amount that Lai Long had managed to absorb was not able to match these lightning swords. The final three lightning swords in particular seemed to possess double the power of each previous sword. Hence, the seventh sword was something that made even Long Chen shake. It wasn't something he could survive. The black swords contained destructive power and the will of the heavenly deos. It had an absolute suppressive effect on a person's physical body, soul, mind, and will. Anyone else would be unable to endure the very first sword. Their mind would crumble. After all, no matter how strong a person was, how could they fight the heavens? Bei Shishi and the others were watching worriedly. The final three swords in particular made their souls hurt just by looking at them. Such a heavenly tribulation was simply impossible to pass. Long Chen continued to fight against the attacks of the seven swords. His lightning armor was constantly breaking. He was coughing up blood, his body on the verge of destruction. The wood foundation divine trees in the primal chaos space were gradually withering. They finally reached the point where they could no longer heal his injuries. He thought about using the primal chaos space. Perhaps he could draw these swords into the primal chaos space. But he didn't do that in the end. The primal chaos space was for drawing in physical objects. These lightning swords were manifestations of the laws of heaven and earth. They had no actual body to be drawn in. This was Long Chen's first time in life feeling such despair. He had used up everything. Lai Long wasn't able to absorb this black energy fast enough, and Huo Long was unable to help in this scenario. The primal chaos space was also out of life energy. I really will die like this. I can only gamble. Long Chen suddenly clenched his teeth. He tore off the eye patch on his left eye, and it suddenly opened. The mark of the three flower pupils appeared in that eye. Black fluctuations came out of it. It was like a black hole sucking in all things within heaven and earth. Three flower petals appeared in the air and twisted. The black lightning swords were sucked into that void. The seven lightning swords shuddered, trying to escape the bindings of the three flower pupil. At this moment, 
Sharp pain racked Long Chen's eye. He felt like it was going to explode. However, this was his only hope. Even if his eye hadn't fully healed yet, he had to use it. As heaven and earth rumbled, the 10,000 Deos collapsed. The entire world was like a shattered mirror as it was covered in cracks. The black mark in the sky twisted and black energy spread from it. It was sinister and wild. All of a sudden, Long Chen felt like a door was opened inside his body, and some kind of mysterious energy was awoken. The mark of the three flower pupils suddenly shrank to the size of the tip of a pin. After that, the seven black swords vanished and blood poured out of Long Chen's eye. Seven swords also appeared in the three flower pupils mark in his eye. It's a ceiling art. Long Chen was delighted. He still had no idea what kind of hidden power the purgatory eyes possessed. However, today, by using them, he managed to seal those seven black swords. Blood continued to pour out of his left eye, but even all the pain that he was in didn't drown out his delight. He hadn't expected to accidentally succeed. Long Chen closed his left eye and put his eye patch back on. The heavenly tribulation was finally over. Just as he sighed, his expression changed. At this moment, in his weakest state, he felt a strange energy trying to extract his blood soul energy. He was enraged. That legendary thing was finally making its move, and it wanted a piece of him as well. Long Chen was about to fight it off when a voice rang out in his mind. Let it absorb it. Chapter 3197 Sowing a Seed Long Chen was startled. That was the voice of the dragon expert. Senior plant a seed in the spring. Reap the harvest in the autumn. The voice rang out once more before its presence disappeared. After that, no matter how Long Chen called out, no response came back. Long Chen had many questions about how the others were doing, but those questions were left unanswered. Long Chen felt his blood soul energy being drawn by that energy. It was like a little thief. However, as long as he wished to, he could resist. Ultimately, he chose to listen to the dragon expert and act as if he hadn't sensed anything. Fortunately, it didn't extract much of his blood soul energy. It just left him with a wave of weakness and dizziness. He could feel that blood soul energy being wrapped up by some mysterious energy and sent far, far away. It then vanished from his senses. In a dark place that Long Chen couldn't see, there was a giant blood sea containing endless energy. Another drop of light appeared and entered the blood sea. That was Long Chen's blood soul energy. His blood soul energy entered the blood sea. After that, an invisible energy slowly merged into the blood sea, silently leaving its own strange mark. That mark belonged to Long Chen. Long Chen was already exhausted from his fight against the Seven Swords. Hence, when his blood soul energy was extracted, his vision turned dark, and he finally couldn't endure any longer. He then fell unconscious, falling from the sky. A pair of gentle arms caught Long Chen, looking at the bloody and exhausted Long Chen. For some reason, Bei Shishi felt some indistinct stinging pain in her heart. She now knew where Long Chen's strength came from. His path was rugged, bumpy, and covered in thorns. Behind his power lay an unknown amount of blood, sweat, and tears. Compared to Long Chen, she felt like she had paid very little. She had put in effort of course, but compared to Long Chen, it couldn't amount to anything. It made her feel ashamed. Suddenly, she turned red. She realized that she was holding Long Chen, and it was inappropriate. She hastily handed him off to the Pill Institute's head. I truly didn't expect that such a terrifying heavenly tribulation would exist in this world. The experts from outside the domain plus the assassins of the heavenly swell domain's blood kill hall were all slain. Even Imputa was powerless. Sighed an institute head. The blood kill hall's presence was gone from this domain. And even Imputa's divine statue was shattered. His faith energy had been exhausted by the tribulation. So the statue was unable to remain intact Novaloon.com with the statue destroyed. His inheritance in the heavenly swell domain had been pulled out by the roots. The efforts of tens of thousands of years were destroyed by a single heavenly tribulation. If Imputa wanted to spread his blood kill hall here again, he had no choice but to start over. Without the faith energy of this divine statue, he could no longer manifest himself in the heavenly swell domain. It could be said that he had suffered a huge defeat this time. However, 
it's unknown if the Bloodkill Hall will once more come back and launch an attack on the High Firmament Academy, said Baziol's mother. This time, Long Chen had destroyed Imputa's inheritance in the Heavenly Swell domain. This enmity was even greater than killing Ji Yui Yun, so there was no way Imputa would simply accept this. If he dares to come to us, can we not just strike back? I'll directly bring people outside the Heavenly Swell domain and slaughter the Blood Kill Hall's branches. If I can't beat Imputa, I can at least kill his followers with no problem, snorted Bei's Han Tang. No need to worry. This time, Imputa was simply testing the High Firmament Academy, and it was most likely incited by Lord Brahma. Moreover, it isn't convenient for our Academy to reveal too much of our power due to certain factors. Fortunately, Long Chen has resolved things here. Lord Brahma is very cautious. He never does anything he isn't assured of, so he won't make any rash moves before figuring out our bottom line. He is someone with immense restraint. Having endured for so many years, he won't let his emotions get the best of him now. Anyway, there's no need for everyone to be worrying so much for nothing. Let's return. The Dean ordered everyone to go back to the Academy. They looked back at the devastation one last time and then at the unconscious Long Chen. They finally left. A while after they were all gone, figures appeared in the distance, flying over. When they saw the wreckage of the Blood Kill Hall as well as the remnant destructive energy in the air, they didn't even dare to get close. The smell of blood still hung in the air. That was enough to tell them that countless people had died. Those corpses were all from some supreme experts. These experts were drawn over by the disturbance. Unfortunately, they had come too late to witness anything. However, the wreckage alone was unbelievable for them. The Blood Kill Hall was destroyed just like this? Even after gathering so many experts, they were unable to escape their fates of being wiped out. The experts didn't dare to stay here for too long. After a brief look, they returned to the sects to report the news. Hence, this information rapidly spread. The High Firmament Academy didn't bother concealing the matter of Long Chen undergoing his tribulation. On this very day, hundreds of sects in the Heavenly Swell domain disbanded. Long Chen had said that the day he ascended to the Four Peak Realm would be the day that his retaliation started. Any sects that had attacked him at the end of the Nine Prefecture Convention would either have to disband or have him visit their door. Many sects had been waiting to see how the wind blew. When the Blood Kill Hall had sent out the call for them to join forces against their common enemy, they had grouped up to launch a sneak attack against the High Firmament Academy. Now, most of their peak experts had been killed by Long Chen's heavenly tribulation, so the survivors instantly panicked. Some of these sects had lost their leaders, and their people began to kill each other to fight over the sect's treasures. All the sects that had participated in the attacks against the High Firmament Academy disbanded. Some sects even attacked them at this time, stealing their resources, mines, and spirit fields. They took advantage of this time to expand their territory. However, it was dangerous to expand like this. Who knew if the Blood Kill Hall would return and attack them? But when Prophet was lying right in front of them, it was difficult for these people to retain their rationality. The chaos lasted half a month, and hundreds of sects collapsed. Some of them hadn't attacked the High Firmament Academy, but as they had a history of grievance with the Academy, they disbanded as well. Perhaps they were just afraid of the worst-case scenario. Long Chen had terrified them. Wanting to live, they didn't have any wild thoughts of anything else. After this chaos, no one in the Heavenly Swell Domain dared to mention restoring the name of the Domain to the Dao Don Domain. All eyes within the Heavenly Swell Domain were on the High Firmament Academy. They all wanted to see what their next move was, or perhaps it should be said what Long Chen wanted to do next. On this day, Long Chen finally woke up after sleeping for half a month. As soon as he opened his eyes, sharp pain racked his left eye and blood poured out of it. He hastily shut his eyes. Child, you have guts. You actually sealed such a terrifying thing in your eye. Bezaiol's mother was standing in front of him. She shook her head and sighed. Chapter 3198 Li Linger manifests Long Chen's eye was in sharp pain. Blood continued to flow out of it. Bei Ziyol's mother helped him wipe away the blood. White light appeared on her palm. When that light shone on his eye, the pain slowly faded. 
Isn't it only because I had no other way? I used up all my trump cards. If I didn't do something reckless, I would have lost my life, said Long Chen helplessly. Even when he was unconscious, he had vaguely felt the pain in his eye. But during this time, he had also sensed that someone seemed to be pressing on his eye to relieve the pressure slightly. Now he knew that Bei Ziaol's mother had been standing by his side this entire time. Then why did you anger the heavenly tribulation and fight against the heavenly deos? Weren't you playing with your life? She demanded. With the support of the white light from her hand, his eye stopped bleeding. The pain lessened quite a bit, but he still didn't dare to open it. What do you mean? Angering the heavenly tribulation? Even if I didn't anger it, its power wouldn't have dropped. I'm all too familiar with it. I just quickened the pace a bit. I just skipped some of the steps because I was worried about those bastards escaping, said Long Chen. Seeing that Long Chen could still smile at this time, Bei Ziaol's mother was speechless. This child had played with his life to the point that he was used to it. That didn't seem like a good thing. He could still smile so cheerfully after barely escaping with his life. I made a new eye patch for you. There's a spatial formation on it. It can you suppress that thing. However, those black swords are truly bizarre. No one has any way to deal with them. For now, you will be unable to open your eye. Bei Ziaol's mother took out a new eye patch. There were runes covering it. When he put it on, a cool feeling fell over his eye. The sense of pain completely vanished. He, many thanks. Senior Long Chen was endlessly grateful. Thanks to her skill in pupil arts, his eye would no longer be in pain. That was enough. As for the energy of the Seven Swords, he would think of a way to slowly refine them. After saying a few more words, Bei Ziaol's mother left. Long Chen looked inside himself. He found that countless runes had appeared within his bloodline. These were the heavenly Darunes that had appeared during his tribulation. Originally, he had thought that those heavenly Darunes would be absorbed by Lai Long. He hadn't expected them to appear in his blood. After this tribulation, he found that all his aspects had gone through a heaven-toppling transformation. Whether it was his physical body, soul, mental energy, and even his flame energy. The Four Peak Realm normally only strengthened the four attributes that a person chose to decide their future cultivation direction. However, Long Chen's heavenly tribulation had resulted in all the heavenly Daruns being sucked into his blood without him even being aware of it. Is this related to those seven black swords? Long Chen suddenly thought of those seven swords. Due to having to fight them off, he hadn't even had time during the tribulation to absorb those heavenly Daruns. Long Chen focused his mental energy on his left eye. His left eye instantly began to sting. But this investigation didn't cause anything odd. Long Chen found that in the three flower pupil of his left eye, the seven swords were embedded into the center of the flower. They contained such terrifying power that he shivered just sensing them now. He had almost died to these seven swords. They were completely bizarre. They contained every kind of energy in the world. It seemed that they had no weaknesses. There was nothing that suppressed them. If the purgatory ice hadn't worked, Long Chen really would have died. Although he had long since expected his tribulation to be terrifying, he still hadn't expected it to have reached this extent. As he examined them more closely, he found that the seven swords were covered by a mysterious dark energy. They actually didn't repel each other. Instead, they seemed mutually attracted to each other. The dragon expert had said that the purgatory eyes were the window to the dark energy inside his body. Could it be that these seven black swords also contained dark energy? Wasn't it said that heavenly tribulation was purely on the side of Yang? How was their dark energy? Long Chen suddenly shuddered. He had a feeling that his current understanding of heavenly tribulation was being toppled. Big brother Long Chen. Just then, a light cry rang out, drawing him out of his stupor. His arm shook. A three-inch miniature person jumped onto his palm. That was a violet-haired girl. Her eyes had lightning runes flickering in them that contained destructive power. Li Linger, you finally transformed again. Long Chen was delighted. This meant that Li Linger had finally obtained the acknowledgement of the immortal world's heavenly deos. It could leave Long Chen and freely control heavenly lightning. This heavenly tribulation gave me greater control. I finally regained that feeling of freedom that I had on the Martial Heaven continent. However, 
the suppression of the heavenly deos here is stronger. I can only transform into this small form, and I can't form hand seals myself, said Li Linger. No need to worry, you've fully regained your spirituality. You're only a step away from truly transforming, said Long Chen. Big brother Long Chen, can you send me into your eye? I can absorb the power of the seven swords, said Li Linger, hopping onto his shoulder. Are you sure you can absorb them? You won't be rejected, asked Long Chen. This was no joke. One mistake could be fatal. I'm sure. Those black swords contain thunder force, along with other energies. Due to the other energies, I was unable to directly absorb them. But they don't reject me, said Li Linger confidently. All right. Try it. Long Chen clenched his teeth. Leaving the seven swords in his eye forever was no solution. It wasn't as if he could only keep one eye open for the rest of his life. If Li Linger was so confident, then she could try it. Li Linger transformed into a lightning rune that Long Chen slowly sent into his left eye. He was prepared to drag her out at any moment if something happened. However, he was pleasantly surprised to find that there was no change when Li Linger entered. The three flower pupil didn't react, and the seven swords merely quivered ever so slightly before falling silent. The lightning rune slowly spread like a web towards the seven swords. However, the swords still didn't react. Through this net, Li Linger began absorbing their power. However, it was extremely slow. The swords didn't even seem to sense it. Seeing that, Long Chen relaxed. The problem with his eye was being resolved. He continued looking within himself. He suddenly noticed a swirling vortex beneath his danshan, the seventh star. Long Chen instantly shot up. Chapter 3199 Seventh Star Violet Tower The whirlpool was right below his danshan, corresponding exactly with the Nethergate star above his danshan. However, it wasn't a star yet but just a tiny whirlpool. Originally, this location was empty, but after Long Chen had advanced to the Four Peak Realm, this whirlpool appeared. Violet Tower Star a name appeared in Long Chen's mind as soon as he saw the whirlpool, along with the complicated pill formula. The Violet Tower pill's main ingredient is the Devil Eye Water Lily? That's a life form of the Undying Race. Although he was mentally prepared when he read through the pill formula, his heart sank when he saw the names of the ingredients. The Devil Eye Water Lily was a terrifying existence of the Undying Race. Its position was only second to the Undying Willow. It was said that when its devil eye opened, all spirits had to submit. Furthermore, the devil eye water lily only existed in the crack between the devil world and the undying world. Long Chen had read through many books but only knew its name. He didn't even know what it looked like. If he wanted to obtain the devil eye water lily, he would have to set foot into that terrifying crack. There was no way to describe just how far away that was from the heavenly swell domain. There were also other difficult ingredients to gather. The eye of the devil dragon. The fang of the bloodbutt. The gall of the deep sea soaring serpent. Furthermore, these life forms had to have reached the fourth rank. In other words, the level of divine lords. The violet tower pill is a fourth tier medicinal pill. In other words, I have to become a divine lord before condensing the seventh star. Long Chen had condensed the sixth star a bit too early resulting in a deviation from the original path. Although he had managed to condense the six-star battle armor, it had never reached its original potential. After igniting his divine flames, he found that this deviation was definitely not a good thing. His foundation with the nine-star hegemon body art was unstable, so he didn't want to take any further risks with it. Fortunately, there's still enough time. I can take this slowly. Long Chen comforted himself. He had just advanced to the Four Peak Realm, but the Cyclone of the Seventh Star had appeared. It should be the preparation for the Seventh Star. Such a thing had never occurred before. This made him feel like the Seventh Star was different from the previous six stars. The Cyclone appeared before he consumed any pills, and it gave off a domineering feeling of refusing to wait. Furthermore, he also noticed a Cyclone covering the Fengfu, Aliath, Life Fate. Enlightenment Palace, Divine Gate, and Nethergate Stars. Long Chen suddenly thought of how when he had forcibly tried to absorb the Black Sword's power. Back then, the Six-Star Battle Armor automatically appeared and unleashed its divine might. 
That wave of power shattered all the lightning swords other than the black swords. Now that he thought back to it, he wondered if these cyclones were related to that. The nine-star hegemon body art was growing stranger. Even he, as the master, was completely befuddled. The cyclones seemed to bring some kind of mysterious energy into the stars as they revolved. This strange energy was connected to the world, but it was an unclear feeling. Long Chen studied them for a long time but didn't receive any answers. Hence, he simply gave up on finding out anything more about this change. He looked around at the rest of his body, which had been tempered by the lightning and was even stronger. He struck his own chest, and it shook the room. It was like the collision of two treasure items. The true dragon essence blood had fully merged with my body thanks to the tribulation. This body of mine probably isn't much inferior to an actual true dragon. Sensing the surging power within him, Long Chen felt a wave of emotion. He liked this feeling of explosive power. After that, he checked the primal chaos space. All the wood foundation divine trees and the precious medicinal herbs were withered. He had sucked up all their energy during the tribulation, and it would take another ocean of corpses to revive them. He wasn't able to get so many in a short time, so he would take this slowly. Boss, at this time, Qin Feng, Bei Ziaol, Mu Qingyan, Luo Bing, Luo Ning, Zhang Ling, Zhang Xiu, and the others came in. They had all advanced to the Four Peak Realm, and their realms were very steady. Some of them had even reached the fourth heaven stage. Seeing that Long Chen was awake and fine, they were jubilant. Most of them hadn't seen his tribulation, but the rumors spreading had reached them. His tribulation had killed so many experts and destroyed the Blood Kill Hall's presence in this domain. Even in Puta's divine statue was broken. That was enough to tell them just how terrifying his tribulation was. When Long Chen returned, he was already on his last breaths, his body on the verge of collapse. It was truly frightening. Just now, Bei Ziaol's mother spread the word that Long Chen had woken up, so they all came running in to see him. Long Chen saw everyone here except Li Kei. Startled, he had a bad feeling. Did Li Kei not pass the trial? As soon as Long Chen asked this, everyone's smile vanished. An expression of grief and hatred appeared on their faces. Qin Feng was the one who took a deep breath and did his best to calmly say, Boss, we didn't tell you about this matter. Li Kei passed the trial, but, just before you came out of seclusion, the Blood Kill Hall launched another sneak attack, and he was killed by them. We didn't inform you of this matter in order to not disturb you at that time. Long Chen fell silent. He recalled that just before he came out of seclusion, the Blood Kill Hall had organized another attack. That time, they charged into the Inner Academy and managed to kill some disciples before being slaughtered. He hadn't thought that Li Kei would be amongst those that were killed. Just as Li Kei came out of the trial, he was killed by the Blood Kill Hall. Li Kei had been willing to risk his life to join the Dragon Blood Legion. He had stepped into an incredibly difficult trial and passed, only to be killed. Boss, don't feel bad. You destroyed the Blood Kill Hall and killed so many of their experts. He can rest in peace, said Qin Feng. Long Chen sighed and shook his head. In the future, our Dragon Blood Legion will no longer recruit anyone. Remember this, boss. Qin Feng was startled. Listen to me. This matter is cursed, said Long Chen. Qin Feng was shocked. He pondered over his words and seemed to understand. Was this due to karma? If Li Kei hadn't wanted to join the Dragon Blood Legion, he wouldn't have died? On the Martial Heaven continent, he had said that he was an inauspicious person. Wherever he went, Mountains of corpses and seas of blood followed. Those whose lives weren't tough enough would die sooner rather than later if they followed him. Now that he thought about it, did Li Kei encounter this calamity because of this? His life wasn't tough enough. So it resulted in this when he tried to join? Long Chen had previously rejected Li Kei, but seeing his tough character and loyalty, even Qin Feng vouched for him. Unexpectedly, it only harmed him. So Qin Feng felt remorse. Let's go. Take a trip with me. Long Chen patted Qin Feng's shoulder comfortingly. He knew what his brother was thinking. Go where? We're going to the Blood Kill Hall. There's still one more matter for me to do, said Long Chen. 
He left the High Firmament Academy with all of them. Chapter 3200 Tying up loose ends A large head was dug out of the wreckage that used to be the Bloodkill Hall. That was the head of Imputa's divine statue. The divine statue had shattered during the tribulation, but the head was still intact. Boss, what's the point of this? Is this valuable? Asked Bazaiol. Every single one of them was holding a chain and pulling the head. It's not worth crap. This head is the source of Imputa's faith energy here. That idiot actually thought that I wouldn't know. As long as this source remains, his karmic luck in the heavenly swell domain is not completely severed. As long as he is given a few centuries, he'll be able to activate it once more, allowing him to recruit more people and spread his belief here, said Long Chen. Boss, are you saying that we can sever his roots by breaking this head? His hands will never be able to stretch into the heavenly swell domain again, asked Bazaiol excitedly. Not bad, you're getting smarter, but you're only half right. This source cannot be directly broken. Breaking the head just like this won't work, said Long Chen. Then what asked Bazaiol? Long Chen didn't reply directly. Instead, he ordered the unfettered alliance and the Luo Gate's disciples to tie the head to their flying boat and set off. They dug a hole near a city and buried in Puta's head there facing down. Only its neck was still at the surface. The head was hollow, and they could see faith runes covering its insides. With the neck facing up, it became a giant receptacle. Over the next two days, Long Chen invited some craftsmen to construct a single temple over it with small rooms. Every room had a hole leading to below. After a while, Bazaiol and the others realized that he was constructing a lavatory for everyone. After it was finished, Long Chen had people spread the word that no matter who it was, anyone who relieved themselves here would obtain a dedux pill. At first, people didn't quite understand, but following his call, quite a few of his worshippers came and consumed his dedux pills. Before anyone could say anything, they immediately rushed into the stalls and things started flowing. They were delighted to find that this Dedux pill's effect was amazing. It effectively expelled the pill toxins that they had accumulated. That was extremely beneficial for their future cultivation. Such an effective Dedux pill wasn't something that they could even buy with money. Hence, they immediately began calling their friends over as well. Long Chen said that this was to celebrate the destruction of the Bloodkill Hall. Anyone who came regardless of cultivation base and gender could obtain a dedux pill. The only problem was that the quantity was limited, so it was first come, first served. Boss, if Imputa learns of this, he'll definitely die of rage, filling his head with crap. Is this referring to his brains? Laughed Chin Fung along with the others. Imputa had launched two attacks on the High Firmament Academy and killed many disciples. This enmity was truly deep. Seeing Long Chen treat a statue like this was delightful. That's only one part of it. I told you that the source of his faith couldn't be destroyed with brute power. However, corrosive toxins are capable of it. It won't be long before it is fully gone. He wants to play schemes with me? I'll play him to death. Of course, I will also spread the image of his head filled with crap. After all, doing good things without leaving behind my name isn't my style, said Long Chen. All those books that he had read weren't for nothing. The ocean's worth of knowledge gave him countless methods to deal with things. This time, he was settling things once and for all, severing Imputa's claw. Now everyone understood. He hadn't gone to such efforts just to vent. It was to end this matter. Li Ke should be able to rest in peace, sighed Chin Fang. As soon as Li Ke was mentioned, the mood fell. Li Ke's death means that his branch in his family's power struggle will fall. They might even, the speaker was one of the disciples of the elite group. They knew what Li Ke's death signified. When they first followed Long Chen, they managed to charge into the inner academy, becoming true elite disciples with limitless prospects. They were originally squeezed out of their families, but as they grew stronger and Long Chen rose, their families recognized their potential. Almost all of them had become the official heirs of their families, of course. They didn't forget to settle things with those that had harmed them. This was life. This was the cultivation world. Whoever had the power would get revenge for when they didn't have it. However, now that Li Ke had died, his family branch's position was no longer stable. When the positions were reversed, 
the old enemies would resurface. This constant revenge was bloody. No need to worry. Who doesn't know that Lee Kay is one of Boss's subordinates? Who dares to touch his family? That would be a slap in Boss's face. Who has those gods? Said Bei Ziaol. However, Chin Feng and the others shook their heads. Bei Ziaol was thinking too simply. He didn't know just how cruel the world was. Long Chen was too far away for them to be afraid of him. His name was not able to protect anyone. It was the same even for the elite disciples that were still alive. They all had to be cautious against their competitors. They weren't with their families right now, and they were too far to help. Many things could happen without them being aware of it. Li Kei has a little brother who just passed the exam two months ago and entered the academy. Right, asked Long Chen. Yes, it's said that his aptitude is no lower than Li Kei's. Li Kei greatly loved this little brother of his, said Qin Feng. Long Chen nodded. Have him come see me when we get back. What was to be Li Kei's will be his. Li Kei traded his life for that. Qin Feng shook inside. He knew what Long Chen was referring to. He was going to give the heavenly Tao fruit that was originally for Li Kei to his little brother, turning him into a primal. In his tribulation, he had killed countless experts, so he now had over 600 heavenly Tao fruits. In other words, adding together the Four Peak Realm and the Divine Lord Realm, over 600 primals had been slain. If news of the heavenly Tao fruits spread, it would definitely drive countless people crazy. Long Chen had to keep it secret. Li Kei's brother could be given one, but he definitely couldn't be informed about what it was. After all, such a heaven-defying existence would cause Long Chen to be hunted down within the immortal world. In just a month, Imputa's head was packed to the brim. Long Chen left behind a batch of dedex pills for some people to guard while he returned with the others to the academy. However, as soon as he arrived at the entrance, he saw some disorder ahead. Where is Long Chen? Does he dare to come out and fight? Within this disorder was a person roaring. His aura was shockingly powerful. He was actually a primal. 